are, are we on? Does that mean we can say like a bunch of racist shit and you can just edit it out? Hey everyone, welcome <laughs> to the <laughs> tenth podcast. No, no, no. <laughs> I'm gonna put that in at the no, beginning. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Let's go. That's bad for my That's image. I, I mean, I'm not exactly. I mumbled under my breath, but you'll be able to hear. No, I, I even heard what you said. <laughs> oh, oh, I God. didn't. What did you say? I'll cut his out. <laughs> <But> <laughs> yours is gonna go in. Yeah, how about fuck that? <laughs> But this is uh, the pre-recorded podcast, recording it like a week and oh, a half in advance. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what do you right. mean? <laughs> All right. There's no do-overs here. Yeah. We're Apparently live. Not. We have to do this. Okay, varsity Gaming it. Enterprises. Exactly. <laughs> the world's listening. Yeah, we're doing drop this them margins. a week in advance because right now, if you're listening to this as soon as it comes out, I'm asleep in Japan. No, yeah. you're not. You're in front of us awake. <laughs> yeah, what do you mean, man? I see your eyeballs. <laughs> How was your trip? It was great. Yeah. How was your trip? <laughs> How you was do? the flight? Lots of turbulence? Awful. Yeah, true. I'm not looking forward to that. It's a 14-hour flight there. Uh, you got Yuck. your switch. You'll be golden. I don't know what to... Hollow uh, Knight. We already went through this. Well, I'm, I'm thinking Hollow Knight, but I don't know if I want to get frustrated on a plane with no nowhere to go. It's great what, again. What day do you come back? It's Oh, on your way back, Pokemon will be out. No, I come back on the 14th. Oof. That wow, sucks. that's <laughs> that super unlucky. That would have been definitely perfect. extend your trip a day. Well, <laughs> what's the worst part is that if I stayed there for an extra day, Pokemon would be out in Japan, and I could download it, mm-hmm. and then I'd come back, and it would just have released in North America. <laughs> what did they fuck up? Because you downloaded it not in Canada, but you could just no. buy the disc. Yeah, like I could go to the store and get a little. I wouldn't want to card. be in Japan for a Pokemon. Yeah, it's probably launch. crazy. Uh, probably just riots in the streets. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I don't think it's that bad. I love Pikachu. I don't think it's that bad. Yeah, <laughs> everyone's just like, "Man, you like Pikachu? Like, screw you, man! I like Charmander. <laughs> I, I like Charizard, words. bro." <laughs> well, apparently, Annie keeps telling me that the number one place to visit in Tokyo is the Pokemon like center. <laughs> no. What did you do? I had my funny these. bone on that uh, door <laughs> handle. <laughs> oh, so that we're all hurts laughing. Bad. <laughs> oh my like, god! A lot. Like. There's a, like a tear could fall out of this eye. Oh my god! I'm not even kidding. You actually smoked it. Oh. You gonna make it? Look, the the bicep pain just like, oh, we gotta oh. work harder. Oh. Yesterday when I fell off the wall really bad and then rolled and then it didn't hurt at all and then I smoked my fucking elbow off those cleaning things. Uh, that hurts <laughs> so much. Me literally eating shit off the wall and then rolling. I hit my elbow. I on smacked the- my hip on that one. Uh, you you were in pain. The, yeah, that hurt. <laughs> this guy was in pain for sure. It was right on the hip bone and it was on one of the fresh hold. It was on the V0 hold that nobody uses. So it was just like Rip. super gritty. Oh. Mm-hmm. oh, you know what I saw yesterday that hurt to look at? A girl was like topping out on the bouldering wall mm-hmm. and she, like, you know, when you climb over, you pull yourself up. Instead, she put her knee on one of the rocks, Ugh. like a pointy rock and like just Put all of her body oh. weight on that. Oh, and, thank you. and it was like right on like the tip of the knee. It, uh, it was it like hurt tip to, to tip. Yeah. When you did that, that tip the, tip. the V3, you climbed it. was like you find, you got up it. And I'm like, oh, he's going to climb down. And you jumped down. I'm like, oh, God, what <laughs> are you the doing? the black one? Yeah. yeah. I know. Just, my heart dropped. I'm like, oh, oh for a second, this was guy's like, ankle. He just lands in a superhero stance like this. <laughs> That'd be hilarious. Yeah, oh, we were worried he was going to break himself again. Again, yeah, how's your ankle? Like, is it back to normal? By yeah, now? I'm gonna Man, say he's, yes. He's he jumping off, jumped walls. off the wall. <laughs> well, yeah. So that was the weird part is that when we first went rock climbing, it hurt less while rock climbing than it did while walking. Is the blood flowing? I don't know. Yeah, or adrenaline, man. I think it's more so just like with the rock coming, if I jump off the wall You're now or anything, terrified. No, it's like it's flat. So <laughs> yeah, like yeah. it lands flat. But when I'm walking and it arch arches, that's when it really fucking hurts. I'm really curious how uh, Rob would do. He wouldn't do well. I, I don't think so. I it's gonna be funny because I can do he now. Can, I can do three V fours in that gym. So like, just to remind Drew, but well, uh, <laughs> I'm gonna you'll see them. I was looking like not looking it up too intently, but I did see it's like it's like equivalent to doing a, like a shit ton of pull ups in a row. Kind of. So what do we think? What are we it's, thinking? V two for sure. I think uh, no, can, I would say the highest he could do is a V one. He could muscle V2. his way through a V two. Yeah. I gotta hoist up 200 pounds though. Well, man, yeah. I got yeah. pretty tired. Was it you that came with my buddy Mike? No, I don't think so. He did a V3 the first time. Just He's just jacked. Yeah. He just I muscled think, his way I through I think it. V2, if it was like a juggy V3. Maybe. Yeah. Well, how yeah. often do you do pull-ups? Like three times a week, probably. All right. He's got like not a, a lot of the men. Huh? No, you got this. You got this. You got this. I bet I could, I bet I could outclimb you my first day. I doubt it. it I think I think he again if it's like if we're talking I actually I don't know if we put him on an overhang who's going to go farther Christian or Rob? Well, on an overhang? But it comes, overhangs it, it actually, it's more technical. If it comes yeah. down to the technique then But all it is is like you just literally have to think 
force your feet onto the wall and then just grip. Like, I'm also terrified technical. of heights. And like once I'm like, <laughs> he's not, he's never and, once, and once my feet are off the ground and like, I'm like at the mercy of something else. I just freak the fuck out. It's like when, uh, when we You're brought at the Hannah. mercy of your own Hannah strength. Like Literally. <laughs> just as soon as I like, I'm like not in control of like, you know what I mean? Falling or something like that. I just freak yeah. the fuck out. When Rob gets out of his car and his feet are in the air for that half a second yeah, before he's they like, touch oh. he's like, oh shit. <laughs> I, actually, I, I actually pull up close enough to the curbs so that way when I <laughs> to get out of my car, it's like I'm not even. He makes a point of just not going in pickup trucks. Yeah. <laughs> oh man. I actually love the feeling of like being in a pickup truck and being yeah. like a few feet off the ground. Road warrior. And then there's me and my Corolla like, looking up at every car that's driving <laughs> wow. past. Me. Scraping his window on the curb so he can step out onto it. Yeah. <laughs> Pretty much. Through his door. My car is like slowly sagging too. So I don't think that's a you good You got thing. on airbags? Uh, I have no idea. <laughs> what? <He's>, uh, <laughs> Never mind. <laughs> it's the it's because you put on weight, Rob. Oh. Uh, so <laughs> see how it is. Could you imagine uh, if you get in the car and then one day just like sinks down two <laughs> inches? That's, like, that's the day where I'm like, <laughs> okay, I gotta maybe. eat less. Yeah, yeah that's not gonna help you for climbing. <laughs> After he just ate a foot long sub and said, I'm still hungry. <laughs> Man, I, was, I just got back from the gym. It's bulking season, bro. It is bulking season. Well, bro. once I get a job, I can I was gonna say, how it. does one afford bulking season? I can't. Oh, okay. <laughs> I, I, gonna gotta, I gotta wait till I get a job before I start that. That's true. Right. Offer still open. What is it? 22K, 22K a year. 22K a year. You, that's, you, that's enough to bulk all year. You would give me a paycheck tomorrow. Yeah. How? <laughs> How? <laughs> it's called like going a, to the bank and getting a check. He's like a cash for you, man. You just get paid advances for him, from him. Oh, oh. the JG Wentworth. JG Wentworth. <laughs> That's who could sponsor us, man. We could how sing that. How does the rest of it go? And why is that in my head? JG Wentworth. Oh, eight seven seven cash now. <laughs> That's what it is. That's what it is. My favorite is always the guy who like I'll walks around with second. girls in bikinis and has like gold necklaces and he's just like i'll buy your gold now and he starts making it oh that old, guy. The old dude he disappeared for like a year and i was like is he dead <laughs> and then I, I saw like on like scrolling through channels the other night on info channel one of those ones he popped yeah. up I was like oh he's good he's good yeah, he opened a new location in the in a yeah. mall he's really good right now <laughs> dude i wonder like those guys that do you think they're like they're crazy rich aren't they like, yeah dude, like pawn store owners how? like well i guess there's that pe- many desperate people people in a pinch will like scavenge their like kind of drawers and stuff for any old jewelry right and they're like what are we gonna do with this and then just mm-hmm. the first place that offers the money for old old gold they'll go and the gold place i think i imagine they would just melt it down uh, I or think they, they just normally... resell because yeah, you're probably yeah. getting at like a fraction of the what you'd normally get it at oh, okay and then not to mention that um like so for the other places that give cash advances or whatever and then they charge interest they're like basically expecting you to default on your mm-hmm. loans yeah. and then they just like repossess everything yeah. so there's like a whole industry based on just seeking out people who are financially unstable and Correct. hoping that they lose all their money yeah. it's like literally canada that's well, yes, yeah, liter- no. <laughs> it's literally my job your job yeah yeah and all my twitch subs <laughs> oh. <Hey. laughs> for a second i was trying to piece that together i was like wait no, how will those two things be they're correlated bankrupting their parents <laughs> man those things make so much money what twitch like subs? all the cash for use and stuff oh yeah 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 that's what we were just i was just thinking it's like i wonder how much though yeah you would have been bonkers part of the conversation amounts. if you were here bonkers <laughs> yeah i i had some, the, the guy who i deposited a 3.3 million dollar check for like owned that type of business okay 3.3 million dollars straight check and he's like hey into my personal i'm like all right must be nice man <laughs> Drew's like, like, oh, I, would, yeah. I would be like shaking i'd be this like shaking just staring at it bro i'd be like that's a shit ton of money no i was like i'd start drooling i'd be like are you sure you won't want me to handle this i was like like, yeah do you have any plans for the rest of the day which is by the way i asked like all the clients that and he's just like gotta work like everyone else i'm like all right all right, <laughs> yeah. It doesn't look like it. But <laughs> sure, sure. Hands with three million. It's like, check. sure, man, you have to. Yeah. He's like another day, another dollar, eh, kid? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> another day scrubbing floors. Another day scrubbing floors. Comes back the next day, he's got like four million dollars. <laughs> so, man, where the fuck? Whose floors are you fucking scrubbing, bud? <laughs> Scrub, scrubbing floors with my maple dip honeys. <laughs> yeah, literally. Jeez. It'd be nice, but. You never said your invention yesterday, by the way. Oh, yeah. Um, we came up with this during Twitch stream. You came up with Hold this. Hold on. Who's we? Well, like me and chat. We were talking about it. So technically, it's my idea because I'm not going to share the money with any of them. Chris, he's course. talking to his imaginary <laughs> friends again. Yeah. Um, so the idea <laughs> is... <boss>. Yeah. <laughs> the idea I'm is called <laughs> the ball bra, where it's basically a bra mm-hmm. for your balls because it'll give you the so, comfort. So briefs? No, but then you can wear boxers while also having the 
I don't know what to describe. Like I guess comfort. Yeah, lift. But yeah, it's perfect. It's like a push-up briefs. bra for your ball sack. Hold on. And, the and, stupidest and fucking thing I've ever heard. <laughs> the benefit of it is that it's also an anti... Con- what's it called? Anti-conception? Anti... Uh, wait. Anti-conceptive? Like, Birth control. Whatever. How? Anti-contraception. S- yes. Contraceptive. That. I think something. it's just how? a straight I contraceptive. <laughs> but okay. gripping your nuts like so hard say. they can't work? Like, <laughs> so who wants the to, who benefit wants to wear of that? boxers... Is that they're free and hanging. <laughs> Got Correct. Hang, if let you them want them loose. to be all sucked up, you wear briefs. Yeah. So the reason why it works as birth control is because I learned this from Chad. <laughs> this is where they helped me. Okay. Apparently, your testicles only really make a lot of semen or make most of their semen when the balls are colder. This must have been a very so, interesting stream to be a yes, part of. Yes, it was. <laughs> okay. So when the balls all are hot, they counting. don't make as much <laughs> semen. So if your so balls... are tucked in all the time. Yeah, they're going to be hot. Be warm. They're not going to make as much semen. You're not going to knock her out. But you're still making semen. <laughs> yeah. Not like, as much, though. The chances <laughs> are lower. Oh, no, no. It's well, like a condom, have, 96%. Have you done, have you done <laughs> any field tests on this or yes. any sort of studies? Yes. For the last 10 yes. years. <laughs> No. I guess oh, I guess there's not, like I guess three, we don't have a kid, so that's a there's, start. There's three lawsuits coming down the line we don't know about. <laughs> well, the reason why this whole idea came up is because, again, weird Twitch chat talking, but we were talking about how when you get older, your balls get super saggy, like to the point where they can like be brushing against your knees. You just get them chopped off. So it's, it's, yeah, it's more like a, uh, just turned into a hassle. An elderly person thing. It's yeah, like, it, it was essentially a pitch for the elderly. ball bra beside the diapers. Yes. Besides gotcha. the depends. Depends with a built in ball holder. <laughs> yeah. There you go. Oh, you gotta man. sell it to depends. There you go, man. All right. I'll be depositing that three point three million dollar check <laughs> yeah. at the bank. And you'll be like, what's next for you? You'll be like, gotta you go just, sh- stare at some balls what and you do you do? Like, just slides of one. I got you. <laughs> He's like, I'm late for stream. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That'd be pretty funny. It's a terrible idea though. Yeah, no, no, please don't do that. Please put zero capital in I that. like boxers because when you're running down the, when you when you run down the stairs in the morning and you hear your balls like slap your thighs, <laughs> I live I live for that. Bro. It's one of the best feelings and noises ever. Rob's favorite noises in the morning are their toaster popping up and then yeah. his balls yeah. smacking yeah. as he runs to, to the toaster. <laughs> <laughs> you guys you guys have all been there though, right? Yeah, you're not wrong. Oh, no. <laughs> You've never had that feeling before. Every your balls morning, baby. Flapping around in no. your boxers, man. <laughs> boxers are just. You're, what do you free. wear? Tidy whities or something? I wear briefs. Yeah, see, boxers, you're just free. You just I wear boxers free. like eighty percent of the time. It's because I like the freedom. The best yeah. thing at home too is like you got a pair of boxers on. You don't need to have anything no, no, else. No, they're else. basically yeah. shorts, unless you have one of those ones that's like a really long fly. Yeah. Oh, and then, all the time, and then it has no button, and then it's just like my, it's like my, you're like, hey, my off. Oh. <laughs> my Johnson always <laughs> oh, not again. <laughs> so funny. I, or, and it's kind of a strange story, I guess. Can't I was on a sleepover it. with a bunch of the guys like seven years ago. The lads, you do, and like we were all in our boxers <laughs> oh, uh, yeah. playing Guitar Hero. Oh, mm-hmm. we used to play poker. Oh yeah, just do just strip poker. Like, more, and when bunch of guys hanging when, out. When the, when the guys are together, you just it just feels natural to take your shirt off and like. No, actually, what? Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, nice. I was I was nice. known for. I, mean? yeah, like, yeah. I was known for always having lefty accidentally hanging out. Yeah, exactly. Like, something like that. What? Continue. Like, true. Continue. Okay. Anyway, so we're all we're just hanging out playing Guitar Hero. And I was like doing a solo, like, oh, loving it, right? Look down and my D's hanging out through my fucking boxer fly. My good buddy saw it too. He's like, bro, your dick's out. <laughs> <laughs> and I was and I was like, oh shit. Oh shit. So I'm, I'm, am I the only it? one that did not openly wear boxers and go Whoa. shirtless around their friends? Dude, you also not, never 100%. had team showers. Yeah. What? Right? I guess they team showers. Have you ever go to like a like a, that, like a house party too where it's just like all of a sudden there's like everybody's just yeah. like in and then their I, boxers. I, I just take yeah. my shirt yeah. so I just take like, my shirt and pants off too. Exactly. No. But like there's like well, maybe your pants not, but like your shirt is just off when yeah. you walk in because it's like three million degrees. Yeah. My friends went to a party at Queen's Hoko and they're literally like my favorite part about this house party was everyone had their shirts off. Yeah. yeah. It's just <laughs> it's fun, like, man. True. Taking your shirt off just means you're having a good time. Like, I agree. Me I, I can have a good time while Christian, keeping my shirt off. off for the boys. Yeah. We should, right, I'll, I'll take my shirt off right <laughs> now if I have to. <laughs> the, the first live podcast. The first podcast. <laughs> take all our shirts off. Rob's just, every single day of his life, he's looking for a reason to take off his shirt man, and be like, I there. worked for 10 years for man, these in abs. Why else do the work? I never wore a shirt and everyone's like, like they would come into our room, and be like, "Oh, I'm not wearing a shirt." Like at first, everyone's like, "Where's well, your shirt?" Wasn't that before you got buff? That was like when I was kind of fat, still actually, too. In the middle. So it was like, so it wasn't a, a good. So shirt I, just, I just, I hate wearing a shirt. I don't know what I it is. I just, whenever Very I can take it off, I take it off. But literally, like I lived with, I lived with two girls and three guys for like two straight years, and every day it was just all the guys in their boxers, no shirt, just chilling, like all day, every day, unless we had to leave the house for something. 
That's the worst leaving the house on like a day off. Yeah, and they have to put your clothes on. Put pants on. Really? I I love having my sweatpants on, my shirt on. I love being like. I love being free. Like (laughs) almost naked. That's why we have to get up to V6s. I'm pretty sure that's the cutoff for when it's acceptable to take your shirt off and climb. True. You can take your shirt off at this place? Yeah, man. Yeah. Most people do. Dude, Rob's like, well, oh, it just rips it off. You right go away. there, like everyone's got the tarps off, and it's just chalk everywhere. Oh, that sounds awesome. Man. The tarps off, mm-hmm. tarps off, Shirt, baby. Your shirt's off. That's a colloquial term. No, no, it's all no. over Canada. It's like a hockey thing. Canada, uh, America. I was trying to. No, that, was, I guess, that would have been a good example to teach Shane. <laughs> I, I <laughs> we had to ruin it. I guess uh, Christian never really had that like camaraderie of just dudes being guys in like nah, a change room or something he, he never had team showers no nope. oh team i think you said deep showers that's why i was very you never cons- had deep showers either <laughs> <laughs> with the coach in the back <laughs> oh, yeah. uh, I not team showers need the extra playing time no I, i've never been in a like locker or like a shower in a locker room it's like set the stage you just played a game of rugby on a pitch where it's muddy and raining and wet you all like i waiting for a shower you won that. you're amped up and you go inside. There's mud everywhere. Nice. You're Continue. not gonna. You're, <laughs> you're not gonna reaches, wait for a shower, a, man. Yeah, yeah, you, you, start take, <laughs> you start taking the clothes you off. Take it with and the boys. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the tone of this podcast took a dramatically <laughs> sexual term turn. Anyways, yeah, fair. Isn't that think, every podcast? Yeah. I don't think is, it was anywhere to turn from. This is more like, one. what's the word I'm looking for? Like uh, sensual. You know what I mean? Is homoerotic? Most, yeah. It's because we're not live. <laughs> oh, yeah, that's true. I mean, I'm not going to edit any of this. Out. <laughs> you think I edit the podcast? <laughs> Trey just tosses it up there. Rob whispers some shit. <laughs> you, only, you only edit it when Rob exposes where our house address is. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's the only time. I've only had to. Yeah, I gotta do or I just now. say something super incriminating and I'm just like, fuck. Well, Please, so I'll pay you. <laughs> after yesterday is where Rob said something and I had to edit it out. I had to like open up the notepad and write down what time it was at because the last time you did something like that, I had to listen to the entire hour <laughs> and a half and just like sit there and be like, when the fuck did Rob say this? I don't remember what I said yesterday. It was just a uh, location. It, was, uh, it wasn't like anything. It wasn't yeah. anything major. Oh, I just, so it was beep. Oh, okay. Yeah, it was beep. <laughs> you should get one of those beepy noises and do that. Like, just, a, like just an beep out random horns. words oh. and just see if anyone like thinks we're swearing, but it's not even a swear word. You know You've definitely mean? done that before. Oh, you know. Oh, yeah, yeah. So, yeah. It's so much. Like, <laughs> Drew's been done, done in. I'm many trying to times. remember. There was like one video where like Drew says something, we all laugh because it was like over the top. So and I actually hilarious. had to bleep it out, and then. Drew's just like, I wonder what everyone else is going to think like we're saying while it's all bleep. So I just bleeped all that out. And people are like, what did he say? <laughs> it was like a minute long beep. <laughs> it's just frightening. That's just <laughs> Drew things. Yeah, just Drew things. Oh, I might I might croak on, on stream. Or not stream, oh, thank but... God. <clears throat> We've been waiting for this. I have like, I a s- piece of lettuce from that side. You sub. only have to split it three ways now. Hey. <laughs> split the jackpot. <laughs> Well, I don't know about jackpot, but... I mean, it could be a jackpot. Man, what would you guys do if you won a jackpot? What's a jackpot? Yeah, like, we're talking, you won the Lotto 649, it was 50 mil. Okay. I 50 wouldn't change, mil. really, Easy. much. Well, it'd be super simple. House, probably a new car, a cottage. Done. I can save the rest. I don't need anything else. Maybe a vacation for the family. Yeah. Um, And for, for all those I people th- who are like who need money, I'm like, I maybe my sister's a couple bucks here and there. Yeah. That's but, like, dangerous. I'm not giving any money away. I would never tell anyone that I won. I tell, I tell my, like, my core group. I tell people who I'm going to affect with the money, but mm-hmm. that's about it. Because right. I, I don't want people being like, oh, I need You just don't tell anyone money. you buy a mansion out in the country and suddenly have a <laughs> yeah. Ferrari. But like, I don't even need a man. I'm talking like a, a, a house in the city. Like, yeah. Like you'd, you'd, want it, you'd want it in the city? Though? <laughs> well, <yeah>. Shane's <laughs> going to go straight buy, to your parents. I would buy your house. <laughs> I want your house. <laughs> and there's, there's a catch. Drew can't leave. <laughs> so one day, like, Drew wakes up. <laughs> Shane's just, like, there. <laughs> just live there. His parents are gone. The best part about that deal would be that the parents would probably lower the price of the house yeah. as soon as you yeah. offer to keep Drew. Yeah. I I'll, just have to, like, like, sleep on the pool table. Yeah. Like, I'll pay for your parents to move out. Me and you are staying here. <laughs> that's yeah, probably, that's it. That's probably what I would do. I'd, like, car for sure. I'd probably move out. I'd buy, like, a really sweet loft like, in town here, though. I think like if yeah. it's if you're talking fifty mil, I'd probably step down to part time. I don't think I need to work full time. Yeah, you'd I, still work though. I would still. Well, work. I need bored. something to keep you me like, grounded here. Yeah. Trust. True. I would. Yeah. So the only thing I would change is I would not work as much. Yeah, it'd be part time. Yeah. yeah. Because like right now, working every single day is not the best, but it it's fine. I wouldn't mind taking like you know two or three streams a week and 
two or three videos a week instead. This guy still thinks he works. <laughs> <laughs> I, Fuck you, yeah, Drew. I would 100% just buy the apartment right above Christian. So every time he's like, oh, I'm on the 10th floor, I'd be like, I'm on the 11th floor. Just, just stomp around all day. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Wear high heels. And then buy a bunch of like bots to just like slam on the floor. <laughs> I would move up to like the top floor and then Drew would just buy out the entire building. Or he'd just make buy another the floor. floor on top of it. <laughs> the roof. <laughs> just kick, kick Christian out, knock out all the ceilings. I would and... just buy a fleet of drones, just fly them into the window. And I would buy 10 night. Roombas and just constantly have them going <laughs> upstairs. <laughs> I think I would start a Roomba battle league. I, won I, I wouldn't buy dollars. the cheap one though. Michael I'd Vick. get the uh, the homing one or whatever. <laughs> <laughs> Rob's finally living up to his football idols. Yeah, Michael exactly. Vick. Yeah. Do you know who Michael Vick is? Yeah, dog fighting ring. Oh, yeah. okay. That's like the only football player I know. Christian was laughing. I wasn't sure if he like knew what yeah, Michael, Michael Vick did, but yeah, there you go. You're yeah, informed. So you only know the scandalous athletes then. Do you know who Colin Kaepernick is? Is that the guy who beat his girlfriend or something? Oh, no. It's no, 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 no. like all of the NFL. Oh, okay. At least well, half. Fair, kind of. Yeah. <laughs> Colin Kaepernick was the guy who took a knee. Like, kneel, he the started, first guy to kneel during the anthem. Yeah. Oh. Uh, which is like, we could probably talk about that for like ages, but. Well, he's out of a job. Yeah. Like the <laughs> for NFL, like four years. Then like take in most of the NFL owners are like 65 and just like white, just white and like super conservative. So when this guy does that, they all freak the fuck out. And like there was a huge phase of it for a bit where yeah. like coaches were like, yeah, I don't care. Do but, thing. But there was like so many times with like the Steers, for example, they had a, like a uh, villain away, but right. He mm-hmm. was in, the, he used to be ex military and the coach had said, we're staying in the change room for the anthem. Cause we don't want to cause any sort of thing. Right. But the, then the guy went out by himself and stood for the anthem because he was like an ex-military. But then that all came out like like nobody knew that was happening. Yeah. So then the next game, they all came out and st- stood there with him. Like they were like, we wouldn't have let him go by himself. Like it just yeah. looks optically it's not good. If yeah. we would have known he was going, we all show up. Like, do you know what I mean? Yeah. But uh, yeah, that was like more of a mistake. Then, yeah. I so think. what do you guys think about like that? Would you care about the national anthem? Because like. Re- I honestly don't even know the Canadian national anthem anymore. What? The what? They, they changed it because of the of the times. Ain't all of us command. Yeah, instead of our sons command, it's all of us command. Ooh. Well, like, I know because they don't want to have a gender a... pronoun in the national anthem. Like that's one of those like that's, that's one of those like yeah. like who's that making like whose life does that make better? I don't know. Hannah. <laughs> oh, <laughs> come on. Well, it's just like yeah, you understand the principle behind it, but like you're changing the national anthem of Canada yeah like what's the big picture there i don't know but also at the same time like who the fuck cares if they change it does that affect you on a personal no, like, basis it's just, it's just it affects someone it's though. like a double-edged sword because like i like, can either either way i don't care really what happens but mm-hmm. like the fact that it did happen then generates a reaction out of me which is like pretty like i'm pretty like uh what's the word? indifferent to it but like they still change how i feel same with like all those yeah because the, the nfl like it, it was huge it yeah. was like the like, story it, it dominated for a year. You, there was no more like and there was no more NFL headlines. There was all like it was just that it was just straight up politics, Who's kneeling politics, right politics, now? Politics. So kneeling. you know what this also, reminds me of? Well, it's weird because you're indifferent, but it's also like, why did it happen? Yeah, that's what I'm saying. It's like so, it, if it didn't happen, and like it was discussion discussion about it, I wouldn't care. But it did happen, and then it's for me. Then I have to sit there and be like, but why? Mm, why? Yeah. So for but Colin Kaepernick, he was like, his was like just the rights of people, right? Yeah, Colin was like all about like please. Like at the time, there was the big turmoil between like like black teens being shot by cops in the states a lot which is mm-hmm. really so he, he a shit situation so he be like bring awareness yeah i guess but the thing about that was like he didn't like really go about the right way because he was wearing socks that said they, they were making fun of cops on it they were like saying like pigs they were i forget exactly what this news story was but he was wearing socks and said they like, fuck the pigs or something They're really mm-hmm. offensive to police and he was kind of wearing doing stuff like that but that he was, just like, went like as far one side as you yeah could. and like yeah. didn't leave any room for middle ground and then next thing you know it's like the entire league is polarized between doing kneeling or, or not, not kneeling and the thing is is there a lot of people like in america it's huge because like it was like it's you're divided right because like 50 percent of the yeah. people are so like they think of the national anthem they think of the flag they think of like military service yeah, yeah. so all those people are looking at calling like are you what are you doing yeah uh, and like, there's a lot of football people. That, yeah. There's a lot of like, like Dallas, especially um, yeah. people who've had like friends that have died beside them. Yeah, exactly. fighting like the military, for your country, yeah. and it's this like, guy's just like, nah, fuck you. I'm gonna kneel during the anthem. Cause the, th- they- the thing is, Colin Kaepernick was like, he's like a when he was like good, he was like a top five quarterback in the league. Like he would be playing today if he didn't take a knee. I don't think. Correct. But since he did, 
<clears throat> it's funny because they they'll never yeah. they'll never hear the owners be like, yeah, we're not letting him in the league. Yeah, but there's he's good enough to be at least a backup on oh, like for every sure. single like, team. You see some of the quarterback play in the league now. And <laughs> and it's like, awful. how the fuck does this guy not have a job? Yeah. Then you think if you sign him, then you got to deal with like the like, probably the biggest media storm ever. Mm-hmm. And like now, no team's really prepared to deal with that. And like it'll just like it'll interrupt it's a the distraction. Way. Yeah, distraction. See, I will say that's one thing that I find very like i appreciate a lot about canada is that people aren't crazy patriotic yeah like here if you did, we are like, just in a different way I yeah think. well yeah and do they, you think people would freak out if someone like if a hockey player were to kneel during the national anthem no because it just wouldn't happen yeah it just, it just doesn't happen Maybe. no but okay national anthem me. you stand you take your hat off you take your helmet off sorry and then, and then you bob back and forth and chewing your mouth guard my bad done. please yeah. rise if you're able to mm-hmm. oh like if i were at a Hockey game, I would just say you would stand. No, you would stand. Well, it's because you're, well, well, you're a you badass, bro. You literally stood when we went to Boston to the American <laughs> National Anthem. Like, you're gonna fucking stand. Did I? Yeah, I you did. That. You literally. Man, why would everybody why, why stand? You, stand? You, you just stand. Why yeah. do Show I have respect. to? Yeah, it's just, it's just a respect thing. Yeah, it's, yeah. it's like it's so much easier just to not be an asshole. No, but this is this is mm-hmm. we're going the path of. Uh, everyone hates a Game of Thrones ending. Christian liked it, <laughs> and then like, I think this is significantly different. Like it's like I don't know, it's national. Man, it's, well, it's just like no. My but point I'm getting at is like you like he, to he do. Says I'm a you hipster. like to do whatever Maybe. is like kind. Not I just the thing. I just don't understand a, I, what the big deal is. So many people died. It's a sign so of that respect. we could have the life we live. It and all you have to do is stand for a minute. Okay, so it's I, literally remembering that. I actually yeah. I had this same basic uh, argument on stream one time where uh, I was saying. If anything were to happen in Canada, like say a country were to invade and mm-hmm. anything were to happen, I would just fucking leave. I wouldn't bother fighting. Or like if the government were to be like, okay, we're taking control and like people are trying to rise up against it, I just leave. Like Can I would re- not, I don't give a fuck about the country I mean, I enough. Just, I would just continue to live my life. Any yeah. next world war is just nuking. So, yeah, so, it's yeah. Like, so not, what, what I'm saying is like in, in the sense of like, if people <laughs> were to try to like uprise trying to outrun the guy. and yeah. they want like your average person to like, Fight, to be like, I would not. I care more about my, my life than any other country out there. Yeah, for, where are you going? I, would fu- fair. I I don't care. I'd go anywhere. Yeah, but where? Literally anywhere. I guarantee you, they won't let you fly. They'll be like, you should be enlisting. I'll drive. No, he can't. Like, He's got a backpack. You get through. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's the whole thing. You want to be in the army? Exactly. If you, if you had a university degree, you'd always automatically be an officer. But uh, yeah, yeah. Just, mm-hmm. Lucky. Fuck. <laughs> well, fuck <laughs> That's tactical. Yeah. <laughs> Shit. Rob, Rob and I can go be officers yeah. together. Yeah. I've actually, like, I have a, this is kind of a, a shot in the dark, but I have a contingency plan. If I'm not hired by, like, the middle of next year, <laughs> I would, I would, I'd probably think about it. You'd go to the army? Yeah. Man. It's nice knowing you. One of my good friends did it, like, a year ago, and he says, like, you get treated pretty well. You definitely do. And, like, your career and life is taken care of. Only thing is that you could have crippling PTSD and like well, the thing is, a like, barrage like, of like, mental shut off. slight risk. <laughs> you have a you have a job for life. Yeah, like literally. as long and as it's you're... like once you want to stop, like, you have to serve. I think five years, mm-hmm. but then after that, they set you up with whatever it, you want to do. It depends too. Like if you go, you can do schooling through the army too. Yeah. Whereas like, hey, you can become this, but you just have to be in the army. Yeah. Well, a lot of pilots do it through the air force because mm-hmm. yeah. they can get all their hours in really quickly and then get insane training too. Mm-hmm. So yeah, Man, we'll Rob, before you do that, you should just go way up north and start a bushcrafting channel. <laughs> I'm dead serious, Jesus. man. Those bushcrafting? Things, yeah, yeah. There's bushcraft people on YouTube that have like millions of subscribers. What's that? Like what's but like shaving like no, it's like building a cabin in the woods or camping overnight. Oh, like I'm the a, people who I'm not a huge outdoorsman, but I might try. Life, yeah. But I mean, like if it's if it's like hanging out outdoors for a week or joining the military, you know, one's <laughs> easier to try. <laughs> well, there we go. Then we have a place to hide when we gotta enlist. Yeah. Hey, my mom it. wants to buy some uh, property in like northern Manitoba for when the zombie apocalypse hits. Hey, good for her. <laughs> zombie apocalypse yeah. hits. Why would you want to go to northern Manitoba? That's where two serial killers were. Yeah, yeah I know. I now, think so. I think we haven't talked be pretty, about it. Since. They're gonna be the first ones that become zombies, they, and they'd be oh, pretty deadly zombies too. So fuck mm-hmm. that. They just remote men. Yeah. Go live on, go live in the what is the Hudson Shield, whatever it's called. Oh, the like Canadian Rocky, Shield. Canadian yeah. Shield. Yeah. What would your guys' actual zombie plan be? Freak the fuck out. Just, fucking, <laughs> just go hang out with the Cotty. Just like jump. Your cottage would still be in a pretty populated area. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Bring the shotgun. Be what's what's the closest like town to it? Dorset. And how far away is that? Uh, maybe like twenty minutes. Yeah, it's close but enough. But there's enough. You're in a cottage area. Like there's enough. 
people lurking Just a around. bunch of zombie fight elderly it's also, people. It's also <laughs> like 500 people population, maybe, maybe 2,000. And take in, those people are all retired, so their zombies are going to be pretty slow and like yeah, out of shape. All shitty. zombies. Yeah, yeah. Pretty <laughs> shitty zombies. <laughs> but, yeah. Like compared to normal zombies. Like. Mm-hmm. If we're talking World War Z zombies, have you guys seen that movie? Yeah. They can sprint we're and like, tackle you, we'd yeah. be fucked. But if they're like your classic like a uh, zombie, then like we'd probably survive a mm-hmm. decent amount. What if they're like the Game of Thrones zombies where uh, they can sprint and like jump on people and just devour them unless you're one of six people with plot armor, in which case you stand what, on a pile what, and just... Fuck, let's Sam, true, what if they let's have, just hope, let's just hope they my dragons. last name is Snow and I'll survive whatever it is. Hey. Yeah, oh. Rob's the chosen one. <laughs> 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 That'd be amazing. Rob Wait, just can't be bastard. No, I don't think so. <laughs> I hope not. Oh. My, I, How I long have your that, parents been married? Longer than I've been born. Okay, there you go. There you go. I'm a bastard. I was born out of wedlock. But so you, oh. but you're not you're not from the north though. So what would your last name? I am be? from the north. Not Canada. It would be nah. it would be like the Keeler. No, it would be Sand. That's what it is. If you're from Dorne, yeah, this, this guy's definitely a Sand Snake for sure. Christian Sand. <laughs> There's <is> kid. <laughs> Straight out of Mexico. <laughs> Aw. Chris Sand. Chris. Chris Sand. Chris Sand. Chrysanthemum. Chrysanthemum. <laughs> Chrysanthemum. That's what we should call you from now on. Chrysanthemum. Is that a flower? Yeah. Yes. That's too delicate of a nickname. <laughs> I think it fits very nicely. <laughs> what about El Chupacabra? <laughs> El Chupacabra? If you could Start say that any El more white, I would just die. Someone and told me that did, story once. Actually, did you get that from Mike Tyson Mysteries? No, I got it from uh, a friend I made in, in university. Fan. We'll call him that. I did do a project on that thing when really? I was in school. Really? Yeah. The way I heard about it was pretty strange. It was a. It was one of the my. Uh, one of my friendly uh, outings I had in while I was in university. Maybe a female, a hookup. Just say a hookup. I'm not saying that. I have, I have self respect. No, you don't. No, you don't. When we drove Come to Toronto, on. you were way too happy to tell me your kill count. You, you asked me. No, I, said I, I didn't want. I said, you. I said, do people like do guys keep track of that? And you're like, yeah. And well, then you yeah. immediately told me the number. Because, I didn't even ask for because, it. Because no, well, you said do guys keep track of it? And I said, yeah. Like more, every single guy has that number ingrained into their head. It's plastered. Yeah. And then you were like, tell me, tell me, tell me. No, and then I told him. Christian was like, yo, I'm pulling over if you don't tell me. <laughs> You're getting out and walking. <laughs> I'm like, driving okay. to that pole if you don't tell me right now. <laughs> it actually caught me off guard because I was just like, oh, they keep track of that? And you immediately just Kate, spat it everyone out. Does. Have you, I guess you guys have girlfriends, so it's kind of hard to like talk about. But I, theoretically, do you know the number in, in the back of your head? Like right off the bat. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. yeah. But like, I don't know. For... I think there's a difference between <laughs> us who have been like in relationships for a while, as opposed to you who like. I've been in so relationships. I think the difference is, is the numbers bigger. Like, what do you well, mean? That's, well, that's yeah. what I'm saying. Is like usually when the numbers are bigger, I feel like. Well, yeah, I, I, I feel like at a certain point it just gets a little more. Call you a hoe. I would, I would say <laughs> I've only had one relationship hoe. that was like committed and genuine the whole Eight time. Hours. I didn't cheat on anyone, oh. but like in terms of like <laughs> longevity, <laughs> long <laughs> longevity, <laughs> longevity, oh, no. whatever that word longevity yeah oh. so like therefore i've had more time to like you know so my wild oats. to hoe around For sure please see appendix b therefore <laughs> but still to like no not hoe around you know have a hoedown good time see what's out there get your to feet wet stop, stop slut shaming rob yeah, stop. yeah wow. a, this is fucked up i'm not a whore bro hannah's gonna mock s you yeah <laughs> i mean i'm not saying the number man back to chupacabra yeah have back you guys, to, have you guys, you guys know mike, what that means no have you seen mike tyson mysteries no it's an amazing show on Netflix, and it's narrated by Mike Tyson, and it's like animated. <laughs> Biggest the, lisp ever. The first episode, he's like trying to pronounce chupacabra. He's like, it's the chupacabra. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, I would pay to listen to him talk about like extremely scientific stuff, like super complex. Oh, no, is so no, bad? It, the Snoop Dogg ones are good. It's though. literally mm-hmm. like, um, like Scooby Doo, but all Mike Tyson. And he's got like a talking bird, and it's just so funny because it's narrated by him in a lisp, and he has like a little like outro at the end of every video. They're twenty minutes long. You can binge them easy. Nah. Wait, so what do you guys think chupacabra means? I know what it is. It's the chupacabra. Can I tell him? Child thief. Drew, I can't see you. You can still answer the question. <laughs> I don't know. I only know it from Mike. That it's like some uh, beast or something. Okay, what is it? It's like a. Dog okay, well, I was explaining it's like a bat slash dog creature that sucked the blood of the cows at night. No, what does the name mean? What does chupacabra mean? Night terror? No. That's Child thief. Cow eater. <laughs> I think it literally translates to goat sucker. 
Goat sucker. I was close. Because chupa, <laughs> yeah. chupa means to suck, and cabra, chupa, chupa. I think, means goat. That's very interesting. Yeah. Yeah. Go suck, they, a goat. <laughs> well, Go suck a goat. Bro. Because of what you because of what you said. It's like bro, the monster comes out and sucks out their blood yeah. and feasts on their blood. Go and suck a goat, bro. Yeah. <laughs> That's, That's such a insult, weird, bro. That's interesting, but yeah. also messed up at the same time. I kind of find like folk stories like that pretty interesting though. I agree. Famous ones. Like, have you heard the story of uh Beowulf? I thought you were gonna say Bigfoot. I was like, no, I've heard never. Of Bigfoot, bro? <laughs> never. <Loch Ness> Monster. <laughs> What's a Beowulf? I don't know exactly. I, I've heard the name. I don't know it's what it's a type it is. of gun. It's probably <laughs> that's that. where I've heard it. <laughs> no, it's like this ancient. I think it's a like German of, of story of like. Oh God! Fact check this man. Open yeah, up Google. I, I, I'm probably gonna get my fucking mm-hmm. shit all wrong, but it's like a German folklore story about something about a guy that has to kill a guy named Beowulf, who's like. There's like this giant monster or something that's like trying to <laughs> the kill. story of Twilight. <laughs> yeah, literally, yeah. it's a giant monster werewolf thing that just comes or a goblin or something that tries to come and kill them three times. And, and then, then Kristen like, Bell. Yeah, or, Kristen Bell comes Kristen in. Bell. Robert Pattinson, you know, or was that a shiny that wiener? Kristen. Kristen Bell. Kristen. So. Kristen. I think it's Kristen. I never understood the difference. No, Kristen Bell. Kristen. Kristen. Kristen Bell's the one from The Good Place. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So Kristen Bell. No, okay, it's not. It's not that. Bell. That's, or, that's, look at, oh, that's her. Look it up. Uh, look up the story too. Chris, yeah, Kristen yeah. Stewart. Look up the story too because I think I have it all wrong. But it's very interesting. I had a oh, book on it best. when I was a kid. Someone in comments will Actually, correct yeah. you. Yeah. Someone like, <laughs> you'd be like, oh my God, you don't know about Beowulf. <laughs> the best, Unfollowed. The yeah. best folk story is like the Pied Piper. Oh yeah, that one's pretty funny. Is it the one who I only gets know that from Silicon out? Valley. No, he or... takes the rats out. He like oh. takes all the rats with his little flute, and all the people like they won't pay him up, so he like takes all the children out and drowns them all in a river with the Wait, little flute. What? <laughs> yeah, Wait, that's how whoa, it actually. All these back stories up, are like up. really fucked up in the end. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, well, yeah, I know like what? the original ones, like uh, Little Red Riding Hood's really fucked. Well, I feel like what's you just that? spoke very fast and I didn't catch that, but I also want to hear it. He, okay, so it starts with like this dude that they have. The city has a rat problem. Okay, so he's a great. He's great with the pipe. So he's like, he plays <laughs> like a little a tune <laughs> and all the rats just fall out of the city. Okay. So then when he goes, he's like, hey, like, pay me. Pay me or like. <laughs> or I'm going to slaughter all your children. No, but he, no one pays him <laughs> and no one shows him any respect. So he just like plays another tune. All the kids come out of the city. He just, <laughs> he just drowns them. Yeah, he kills them all. Yeah. So that's why it's all like, have you paid the Pied Piper? Yeah. There you go. Gotcha. Makes so, sense now. <laughs> so wait, why, did, why did Silicon Valley name their thing after Pied Piper? Because they're slowly huh. trying to indoctrinate and kill everyone. <laughs> okay, <laughs> hey, that's what I thought. <laughs> hey. but yeah, a lot of these folklores have really fucked up. Yeah, I thought well, it's funny because when we you first learn them, it's not fucked up. It's like, oh, then he just took the kids out and then brought them back yeah, when they paid. Yeah. No, really, he just he killed <laughs> them all. Everyone. What's be- the Red Riding Hood one you're about to say? That's okay, so interesting. Little yeah, Red Riding really Hood good. is about a woman She's going a werewolf. like becoming or a girl becoming a woman, like getting her period, and no way. Whoa, 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 and the whoa, ending whoa. is like she sleeps with the wolf or something it's really what? fucked like it's about like the wolf kills the grandma and then like he like that was not the book i read no no like this is the actual origin <laughs> you read the pg one and I, I don't know for sure so i'm afraid to say it but i'm pretty sure it involves rape to some degree Yikes. between the wolf and the girl like, and it's really it's graphic like jacob from twilight just goes ham or <laughs> oh no <laughs> It's the, like the one where, like, the, like the witch. <laughs> she has red hair too. Oh no! The witch in like the Foresha- backshadowing. <laughs> the witch in like the like the with the candy house. Hansel and Gretel. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And then the, the two kids come out, and then like, oh, they're trapped, and then they get let go. No, the, the witch literally eats them. Okay. <laughs> like, Dude, that story was scary to me. I thought she like fed the like kids she to fatten the, them up or something. No, I thought she fed like she cooked the kids and yeah. fed it to the parents or something. Yeah. Wasn't something she like fattened the yeah. kids up and cooked them. That's as much as I can remember. She's like Arya Stark. It's fucked up. Shout out Aria. I feel like we should all find some sort of interesting thing for next podcast. An interesting no, interesting already, story no. of folklore. It's two weeks away. We're going to forget. True. Dude, that Red Riding Hood story is giving me like, somewhat chills. No, I'm kidding. All of the <laughs> all of <laughs> Disney like princess movies or like stories that they made are all based off really fucked up. Oh, what about folklore? Snow White and the Seven Dwarves? It's going to be fucked up. She enslaved them when they were children they so had they no, didn't know anything no, different. I know, they had an orgy. <laughs> I know something with Snow White... <laughs> 
it's it's something <laughs> fucked up when she's asleep and the prince comes and like the witch. I know that, that whole part is really fucked up. I don't know about the rest. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I didn't hear what he said. That's good. It's fine. <laughs> Timestamp. You can play that one back. <laughs> Cinderella is also supposed to be a lot more. I can't imagine. Fun. I've heard Cinderella is kind of like rapey. Yeah. Also. What about yeah. Rapunzel? She literally lets her hair down for the dude. Yeah, I can't that, imagine where Beauty and the Beast is going. <laughs> <laughs> Let's just say the furries have really picked up on that. Oh god! He just like Beauty and the Beast alive. was the first ever recorded furry story in human history. Yeah, I'm actually pretty sure that the original story is like she kills her or something. I don't think. No, that, I'm, Dude, I'm pretty did, sure they don't fall in we, love. We need to do a deeper dive on some of these. I know, like the Little Mermaid stories, like the, the person turns human, and then the guy's like, I'm pretty sure he's like, ah, actually, I like this other person anyway. And then she just dances, and then she just dies. Like it's like oh, literally gosh. just dies. Like it's she dances to... till she dies, pretty Fish much. Fish out of water. Yeah. Well, like she gets the ability, and like you, you have to find someone Fish to love in X amount of time. And, and then he just doesn't. And love then her. the prince and the, the Disney thing, like, oh, perfect, I love you, blah blah blah. In the real life, it's just like they're all dancing, and then the prince, like, nah, I like this person better. Oh, I like oh, how you say oh. real life, like as if it's based on yeah. a true story. <laughs> this all happened somewhere back man. in the eighteen hundreds. You gotta be, you gotta be woke, bro. Yeah, Star man. Wars ex- happened in an actual galaxy, pew, pew, pew. far, 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 far away. away. Wow. Be woke, bro. Speaking of Star Wars, I'm still man. excited to build that Lego set. Yeah, let's do it right now. Oh, okay. the, the, ASMR, the weirdest part is clock. technically like that could exist right now. Star Wars. Yeah, there's like millions and like oh for anyone who it says like, for anyone who says aliens don't, don't exist. Know that. You know. Oh, I you know, want to get Jabba into this Hutt topic. Yeah. Is based on some dude. <laughs> For, so, oh, wait, like, just general query: Who here believes in aliens? I do. I do. Uh, there must be like I don't know. It depends what you're considering an alien. Like, there's like, definitely other life shit out outside there. of our planet. Hundred percent. You have to be okay. the biggest dimwit to say there's nothing else out there. Have you seen a big galaxy? Like the universe? Yeah, is? I think the universe is flat though. <laughs> True. I think it's, uh, the thing is, screw Earth. The universe. I've is heard, flat. Have you heard the theory where the universe is? ever expanding and it's going to hit like a wall it, and, and then come back in yeah no, i've not heard that that's probably like, it's going to take millions of years to happen but like that's what it, it astronomers say no, in our like kids 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 i'm gonna be kids, alive kids, for that kids. no no <laughs> yeah yeah he will be you'll be on Brain race probably jar kind of yeah. thing. <laughs> he'll be like the hive mind that's like controlling society you know in like 20 years man that's a scary thought so i read a or watched a video or something i don't you know read a video mm-hmm. um it was something to do about like <laughs> wait bro you read it jesus you guys know the roswell alien crash right no yeah it's area 51 mm-hmm. well not area 51 but well, like it's the most famous like it's what ET alien crash ever where they said that uh no clue like a flying saucer landed in roswell new mexico or mexico i don't know and like if you go there now it's a huge tourist trap and it's all just like everything's alien themed the whole town's known for that alien capitalism thing Mm -hmm. and what they said is that an alien ufo (laughs) crashed and then the next morning the government came in and took it all away i think i saw that in uh avengers once that's how the camera came down they put the tent around it and then oh that's basically it that could happen that sounds like like a 200 person town just wanting some attention probably well apparently allegedly it's confirmed that the government came in but i don't know i want to sick if true that, i want to know what the fuck is in area 51 man. i will gladly insert my foot it's you literally just like, went to the protest area 51 is literally it. just like military shit it's, it's just like, like air- all their experimental military stuff it's experimental aircraft yeah but what i was gonna say is so the whole thing when roswell happened there was like a huge boom in technology and there's a whole theory about it saying that whatever technology they took from that alien aircraft they deconstructed? Is, they deconstructed it and that's how we got like lithium ion batteries that's how we got uh all those new jets that can go super fast it's kind of funny because like it, it, it sure just happens to line at the same time but, but like, it's me very out, likely I'm that s- it was not at all the no. case I'm, I'm, but like there, there was like a massive jump in technology correct mm-hmm. but like <laughs> i don't think it's true but i want it to be I know, true. that's yeah, exactly, exactly yeah, yeah. what i was just it, thinking it's very much a like it's it just lines up too coincidentally correct. that you're like it it seems so Man, like, accurate. Fuck. I I want to know like all these like hidden shit. Like, is there like an Illuminati? Do you though? Is there alien? Oh, I guess you really like, want knowledge. to know that. So I'd be like that. Have you seen Indiana Jones? And like the chicks like teach me everything, and the alien thing teaches everything, and her head explodes because it's just too much. To <laughs> I think that would happen every also, but I don't know, man. I still think there's some sort of like Illuminati type shit out there. I just want to know some sort of cool thing. Yeah, I want to know like 
is any of these conspiracy theories true? Like, they're obviously, there's easy to debunk most of them. Like, the, I, well, I guess I, the moon landing still has people who are freaking out about that's it. That's dumb. I used to be a moon landing denier, oh. but that was <laughs> like when, that was like when I was in grade seven or something. I was just like, oh, oh conspiracy theories. I love it. God. I, yeah, I watched a video of like I think his name is Buzz Aldrin or something, the first astronaut. When he punches a soccer guy, guy cuz he's like some guy comes up to him and he's like you guys faked it. Shame on you. Bang. Some really? some 80-year-old man just punches man, him right in the face. He's done it like six times. That's yeah. amazing. Man, imagine you like your whole career is built around all this technology, all yeah. these like training and everything to go to the moon and some guy just comes up to you when you're like 80 and has the audacity to be like you're a phony. Yo, he deserved that sucker for sure. I would have given like you given the I bet this uh, buzz guy at 80 could have beaten the shit out of this guy from the looks of him. Like, <laughs> yeah. throw, well, throw him in an octagon for 30 seconds or so. And he's it's happened a few <laughs> It's happened a few times where he's punched someone. Good. Like a, well, like, but so what I'm wondering is like, how has he never been held liable for that? Like, probably not. He's man, old, he's probably play he's stupid crazy games, old man. win stupid prizes. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, you can say that, but that doesn't actually hold up in the court of law. He's, he's, it might. He's like a, he's a relic. I think no, I'm not. I'm not saying he should be punished or anything. I'm just wondering, like, how does he get away with I that? Think he's I'm telling you, like, he's hush. a relic. I think he's just he's protected by those unwritten laws of society. His like, skeleton this guy's will done be enough. in a museum. Like until he kills someone mm-hmm. or does something really mm-hmm. fucked, I'm sure he's fine. He's too old for that now. Yeah, he does not always kill anyone. If you kill someone on the moon, well, it's not no one's jurisdiction. It's like yeah. international waters. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that's not true. <laughs> <laughs> I can go murder There's someone. water on the moon. What? <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> Is that? Sure. I don't think you can get away with whatever you want on international so waters. So if I want to kill someone, I should get him to the moon. And then I'm, I'm pretty sure you can. Well, like to an extent. If, I, like, if I were to take someone out on a boat, murder them, just dump them and dump them in international waters, who's going to know anyway? Well, yeah. they can't follow you in it, or they like can't arrest you in international waters. Yeah, but you like so you have to live the rest of your life out there. Because yeah. as soon as you come back to any country, then You're they like, can Yo, hold you liable the, for where it. Where yeah. this guy? Oh yeah, shit. Oh <laughs> shit, he killed someone. Now he's living out in a bar. <laughs> so he's living on the moon. <laughs> <laughs> do you guys think we'll Easy. colonize? Why do you think Musk is trying to go to Mars? I was just gonna ask. Do you guys think we'll colonize other planets in our lifetime? Yes. I think so. I think, I think so. They're not that far off. I think technology is so exponential. Well, the yeah. issue is more so about like how the planet isn't su- suited to Correct. like sustain Haven't anyone. Haven't they already like prepped like isn't there like a, a X amount of people going oh, yeah. at I don't know what the yeah. date is but like they're going and it's a one way trip like you're dead. Matt yeah, Damon that, went up there a couple of years ago not, to just kind of like get everything all set up for us. <laughs> yeah, and then lost his shit. And then... <laughs> yeah. He's got that, some taters growing up there still though. That There's did some... not uh, like follow through. The a company that like committee. made that thing mm-hmm. where they're like they're going to take 100 people and fly them out like that company I'm pretty sure went bankrupt oh. and like yeah, they had it was a bad kickstarter. And they, and I'm pretty sure like they claimed to have all this information ready to go and it was all fake. I feel like I there's think... like a setup somewhere. Like I, I remember seeing it, like a video of it, like people being like it's somewhere in like Hawaii or something where there's like a big desolate area and they have like this thing set up and they live there year round. There's like a dome or something. Yeah, yeah. 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 I, where have I seen I that I think from? I've seen that too. It's like they were mm-hmm. pre- almost like, you know, that show Doomsday Preppers? No. It's or, actually a sick show. Yeah, people who just are uh, convinced the world's ending and they have all this fuck shit set up. I mean, it got is some, ending, but yeah. They've well, got like, some sick Ending forts. a lot faster than anticipated. Mm-hmm. But and, like, it's, that was like that sort of like mini documentary about like a giant biodome that was meant to design like a space atmosphere. Those mm-hmm. are always the best of those people who are like, the world's ending on this date and then they get to that date and they're like, well, shit. The world's ending on this date! <laughs> <laughs> Have you seen Parks and Rec? No. They do a perfect episode on that where they're like, oh, there's this like group of people in town and their leader always predicts like when the world's gonna end and it's happened like 30 times now <laughs> and every single time like they show that the whole episode's fo- focused on one day where he's like the world's ending and they're playing their flutes and he's just like the bye, next bye, day bye. he comes into the park's office and he's just like, oh, it looks like I got the numbers wrong again and she's just like, well, and you know it happens he's like well i looked at the numbers crunched them again it turns out to be this day <laughs> and he's like is the park free on this day and she's like oh no we have a yogurt festival and he looks and he's like oh that's actually it's this day and she's like it's a free yogurt oh. festival. <laughs> a yogurt festival i mean pretty it's sweet parks and rack they're fucking weird it's great though i gotta watch more sitcoms there's some good ones out there yeah. like the good place community's fantastic I you do, haven't seen Community yet? It's just so hard because the office at the bar is so high. Because actually it was a TV show that made me laugh. Mm-hmm. Fuck this guy. Sorry, Every single time I, I ever morning. reference anything of The Office or ask him about parts of The Office, like, like, I have I've no seen, memory I've of watched, that show. I've seen like 90% of the episodes once. So yeah. like... Where have you seen them 15 plus times? Mm-hmm. Yeah. All of them. Mm-hmm. Rob would be <laughs> And Dwight. like 15 I think is probably an understatement. I'm pretty sure it's like 18 now. <laughs> yeah. Actually, what character do you think Rob would be? Kevin. 
<laughs> yeah, that's an insult. Are you comparing her physical like, stature? No, nah, your just intelligence. your mental stature. <laughs> <laughs> it's just like, I love how it's set up, though. I'm, I'm sitting over here by myself. Will you three get fire off fucking roll? Whoa, 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 keep me out of this. <laughs> yeah, this guy here is ringleader. <laughs> yeah. Hello. I just laugh and then try to you defend the, you sometimes. This one's pretty sometimes. good. Sometimes. <laughs> this pretty good. I'll, this I'll one's admit. too good to defend. You know who he would, who he would actually be? Todd Packard. I think he'd be Andy. No. Andy. Andy's too, like, nice and trying to be fanciful. Here's the one that Mike's always, like, threatening to kill and beat up. Toby? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I can see myself being him. No, you I can smi- see you being you Michael. smile too yeah. much. Yeah, I guess Toby hates him. I can him, see him being Michael. <laughs> oh, who's the old guy who's crazy? Though? Creed. Creed, yeah. Dude, the funniest thing ever was, like, the one episode when it's, like, they were, like, made a joke about, like, a murder or something like that. And then Creed picks up a phone and he's, like, I need some help or something like that. <laughs> no, I, I just watched that episode yesterday. What it happens? Was, um, so uh, they ha- are playing a game to distract everyone because the company is like going under. Yeah. And they're like, as soon as Creed comes in, he's like, sorry, I'm late, boss. And he's just like, oh, uh, there's been a murder. You're a prime suspect. He's like, okay, let me get settled in and uh, I'll get right back to you. And he just sprints outside and drives <laughs> out. And you hear the like wheels skid. <laughs> he peels I, out. I remember that part. That was so funny. Man, that that segue was too good. People are gonna think it's scripted. Rob's trying to like reference some episode. Oh, I watched that yesterday. Actually, <laughs> uh, you can't tell you how many times that's happened. I watched like an episode. Do you today. know like certain episodes Man, completely off? The I heart? still can't watch no. Scott's Tots. I, I just watched that I, one I, yesterday. I, I that can't was the watch one I it. I can't watch Why? it. Man, it's too cringy. It's so cringy. Well, it's it? a pretty funny episode. But like. Yeah. Ah. Have you watched The Office? Like bits of like bits and pieces. When he's like, so <laughs> he, yeah, you tell him. It's when. Uh, <laughs> oh no. <laughs> Aaron like comes up to me. She's like, "Oh, this is our itinerary for the day. We got to go to the school." And he's like, "No, we got to reschedule." <laughs> and then Pam's like, "What's Scott's tots?" And then Michael tells the story about how 18 years ago he went to like a school and a bunch of preschoolers. He fell in love with them. And they went to like an underprivileged school. So he promised to pay for their tuition if they graduated high school. And then they were all graduating. <laughs> so then he's just like, no, they were stop. trying to bring him in so that he could like talk to them and give a speech and be like, I'm paying for your tuition like, now. But he kept canceling checks. and canceling. <laughs> and then he goes in and obviously he's poor. So he's just like, I can't pay for your tuition. <laughs> It's, but, the, it's the he, most cringy episode he ever. He like keeps putting it off, and then he goes in and he's like, "So I uh, can't pay her for tuition," and they're all like welcoming. And they're just like, "What?" <laughs> and then he's like, "But I can buy you all laptops." <laughs> no, what he says, it's so much. The way he delivers it, it's perfect. He's just like, "Online education is a perfect alternative to universities," and he's like, "And online education is rendered useless without a laptop." And everyone goes from like booing to quiet, like really attentive. And he's like. And those laptops are rendered useless without batteries. And he pulls out batteries. <laughs> and he's like, I got one for each of you. They all start booing. He's like, wait, 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 wait. They all stop. And he's just like, they're lithium. <laughs> <laughs> he and literally he more. buys them all laptop batteries. And they all like hate him. And then it cuts to like a shot of him and just some dude outside. And he's like, yeah, man, I'll, I'll take the batteries though. <laughs> and he's just like, he gives them all of the batteries. <laughs> That's amazing. It's just That's also incorrect, but I'm not going to keep correcting. Yeah, the, make, no, make no, ten, please do. I, I forget. Uh, I, I, I don't watch it. I cringe too hard. They, they, Third time Christian's rephrasing <laughs> yeah. the collection of the office. This guy's just uh, got like they, a photographic yeah. memory. It's just they Mike Ross over here. Bring the batteries outside. And then the guy's like, that's really fucked up or whatever messed up that you did. And he's just like, you can buy, at least pay for my books. And then Michael like writes him four checks. He's like, call me before you cash these okay. checks. Because I got to move money around. <laughs> Jeez. But so, yeah, Michael's just like, you can take the batteries if you want. Not everyone took them all. <laughs> <laughs> oh, there you, there you go. <laughs> Not everyone took them all. You got rid of like uh, one. Is there anything you guys have complete memorized? Like a, like a TV episode or uh, a movie? Apparently The Office for Christian. <laughs> I, I don't have it memorized, but like if you tell me about like a scene, I can pieces? tell yeah. you what happened in the scene. All right. Some at all. Dwight, Dwight's all his stuff in Jello. That's like oh, season that's like, one, isn't it? No, it's yeah, it's like really, really season two, episode one. <laughs> oh, okay, all right, that's all we need to know. <laughs> okay, <laughs> podcast <laughs> over. Oh no, actually no, that is season one. No, it's season, season one. one, episode one. Yeah, season one, first, episode two. It's one of the ones I've seen, so it's got to yeah. be season well, one. Because so, season one's the <laughs> season I always skip every time. I never watch it. Yeah, I've only seen it once. What? I always skip it because it's too cringy. It's like episode. I'm pretty sure it it's is episode cringy, like one or two like in a great way. That's yeah, the most funny is. episodes though. Is I, when it just, he gets so in fucked. shit. The, yeah. the, 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 he gets in shit for putting all the shit like stuff in Jello. Mm-hmm. And yeah, just, Jim puts all the stuff in, the in next Jello. Day and it's another like the staplers <laughs> in the thing of Jello. Do you imagine showing up to work though, sitting down at your desk and you like open it and your staplers? <laughs> it's just <laughs> wobbling <laughs> around in Jello. Honestly, I wouldn't mind. I'd be like, all right, free snack. That's but that's that's 
hilarious. That's going to be Christian's excuse next time he's late to stream. He's like, oh, sorry, man. Someone put my mouse in Jello. <laughs> but the thing is, is like, hey, so Jello, have you have you all made Jello? Yes. Yeah. How the fuck do they get it to sit? Like, do you make it half of it and then you put the thing in and then put the rest of the Jello? Mine's always turned out pretty no. like, soupy. Wait, what? Oh, like so it just starts out as you start. Oh, because like, it, like if no, you, you, you start yeah, out, you yeah, put yeah, it yeah. in. How it just like, sinks in. It doesn't sit in the middle because it's like poking out close to the top. I'm pretty sure. But like, if you just let half of it do its thing and then put that. No, yeah, it's like my aunt used to make Jello that had like strawberry chunks like floating. Oh, in it, yeah, right? yeah. And yeah. The good like, old Thanksgiving Jello. Yeah, how do you do that? No, or how do you make like multi-colored like, no layers? Idea how to do, do you that. just like do a layer, let it do its thing? You must. And then put another, and then you yeah, must, you must yeah. sand yeah. it so it's got a little rough of edge, and then yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> pull, pull the bandsaw. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Have you seen those gifts where people like repair things using sunflower seeds? Yeah, I've seen the gifs. Yeah, I did, they made no fucking sense. I don't know why I, I was watching. It's just so funny. I haven't seen it. No, I was like waiting for something to happen. This guy cuts open a cucumber and stuffs it with sunflower seeds, and like sands it back down. I'm like, so it's basically. Basically, like the whole meme on the internet for a while was just that you can repair anything using sunflower seeds. So, like, if there's a hole in a chair, you just put a bunch of sunflower seeds and then you just like sand it down until it's mm-hmm. like powder and then you coat it and it looks like wood. So, then the gifts are basically just like, oh, there's like a hole in this one thing. So, he puts sunflowers in, sands it, it looks good. <laughs> and then he like cuts open a cucumber, yeah. empties it out, puts sunflower seeds in there, like um sands it down the and just puts like memes, yeah so items so and confused. items and items and he puts like the cucumber inside of a chair arm and sands it down. <laughs> <laughs> and then it looks like a fully functioning chair like brand new what the heck? i was so confused so i had seen the first batch of memes where it's like nursed. everything all i saw was like cucumber going into the arm of that chair <laughs> And I was like, what the fuck am I supposed to be, they take from this video? It's like, wait, I, I didn't know it was on Pornhub. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Top video is when you just open up, just cucumber gets inserted into armchair. <laughs> Multiple sunflower seeds. All, all the woodworkers are just searching it up. <laughs> oh, this gets my shit going. <laughs> yeah. Sunflower seeds. I'm going to go make a nice cherry chair now. <laughs> yes. Yeah, nice cherry mahogany. Yeah, mahogany chair. Ooh, baby. Man, I, for a while, thought like, Seeing all those woodworking stuff, I was like, man, that'd be so cool to do. Loved it for a while when I was like in grade eight. And then in grade nine, we had tech at our school. You had which to make was, the CO2 car, right? Yeah. yeah. And I, that CO2 car, I broke it three times. I had to pay 15 bucks like each time for a fucking block of wood. Really? Yeah. And I broke the car every single time because I always try to make it too thin. And then you just see like the hole where the like, CO2 canister is supposed to be. Yeah. And man, like, the bottom part would be too thin. Right? I always yeah. enjoyed that. And whenever it came time to actually sand the car, I just got so bored sanding it with like, you know, like a thousand grit mm. and then 2000 grit. I'm like, ah, nobody's got time for this. I but named, everything up to that moment was fun. I came in third. I named mine the Beast from the East. I the, remember the cars, it. We made like like a like a metal <laughs> ring. From like the middle of Canada. <laughs> See, this is the difference between our schools, which were like somewhat smaller and probably poorer, and then Shane's school, which was rich, and they made fucking jewelry. You made the, the rings? And, and then, yeah, yeah, yeah. And then they sold it. Yeah. Like millions of dollars. And then in the, I think in, I still have mine. And then uh, like I think I took it again in grade 10 or 11. We made like this like fully like it's like a boat doesn't have a motor or anything but you put it in the water and it, it like you have the line where the water sits like everything is perfect and it just kind of scoots around because the the sails will that's dope that, Our, you yeah. know what that reminds Our, me of did you guys ever watch uh Stuart little yeah yeah a long and time. Then that, like one exactly. scene where he's driving that boat and they're trying to s- <laughs> they're sinking <laughs> i haven't seen that actually. and he can't uh, swim so <laughs> my my grade nine tech class it was like three rotations one was the car then the ring and then we did cad as well. Yeah, we had to do that. Yeah, we had cat as well. We had the we did the boat. We did like those rockets, and then like, oh. they're pretty much like bottle rockets, oh, pretty yeah, much. Yeah. And then yeah, yeah. you have to like the ones that came down intact, pretty much passed. Mine literally went up, and you saw the parachute go, and I just. <laughs> <laughs> I used to do those with my dad. Yeah. Stood on the street, and then oh. there was like another thing where they're they were literally just kid. making like a full canoe. <laughs> oh. Fire not. Yeah. Mine... I want to be Elon Musk one day. <laughs> did you ever do the stomp rockets? Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, those way so back, fun, yeah. Man. Oh, I love watching the gifts of the kids, like, <laughs> sprinting up to it, and they hit it. <laughs> yeah. and just, just like, whoop. <laughs> Went from <laughs> stomp rockets to the actual rocket. Yeah. yeah. Did you say you've never seen Stuart Little? That is never messed seen up. Stuart I don't even Little. remember YTV. the movie. Yeah. yeah YTV you once need to go, like the little I have it on VHS. Mouse, right? yeah. Mouse, yeah. yeah, I never saw it. It's great. It's like one of those stories where the kid doesn't like the newborn. And he just like completely hates well, him. And he's like, "Mom, get rid of him." Fucking mouse. Yeah, I don't think I'd like. Wait, him so the mouse was a kid. Yeah, yeah. They, like it's a ta- walking, talking mouse. So like the mom, like, but no one freaks it, out about they, it. They're just like, "Oh, it's just a obviously talking it's mouse. a movie." But yeah, like, how mom, they, the mom man. obviously cheated on the dad, but no one brought it up once. <laughs> she just found this really sexy mouse one day yeah. at the bar. Went, Prince well, Charming. No, it, it's, <laughs> a, it's followed adopted. the Pied Piper. You know, like she obviously didn't have sex with a giant rat. You don't know that. 
I guess you don't. <laughs> but regardless, yeah, I forgot. It's actually not man. It's right. the the first scene because I actually watched it recently. Um, <laughs> Why? Because I wanted to. I wanted to watch it for so long, and then I think it was on Crave or something. Mm-hmm. And I'm like, Bree, we're watching this. Like, I, I want to watch it. Um, the first scene is like when they go to pick up Stuart from the adoption place, and they literally walk in, walk past all the kids. They see this mouse, and they're like, "Oh, you're so cute! Like, what's your name?" And he's like all smart and like dressed in a suit and stuff. And they're like, we want him. And they like bring him home and the kid just hates his guts. Well, it's because your parents are more like drawn to a mouse than they're actually Man, They child. don't even bat an eye. They're just like, we want Stuart. But at the end of the day, it all works out. Yeah, they, they're friends. They go on a boat race together. At the end together, of the day, the they, kid kills the mouse and, the train and eats sets them. sets in the basement. The train, oh. Honestly, this whole conversation, Good I expected Rob to just look and be like, I don't trust mice. <laughs> yeah. I don't trust mice either. We had mice in my fucking don't, student house. Whoa, don't mice scare horses or is that? No, elephants. The elephants. elephants. Yeah, true. Um, and elephants never forget. They That's might. true also. They That's why Rob do. never forgets. That's true. An Rob's elephant. an elephant. He used to be. Now he's a... Man, I do have a trunk hidden away somewhere. <laughs> <laughs> I did a hand signal. I keep forgetting they can't see me. But <laughs> soon, I was just, that was soon. the last podcast. Everyone kept doing hand stuff. I was like, no one can see this. Yeah, fuck. I literally stood up and tried to kick We're always Drew. doing hand stuff. <laughs> hey, yeah, he, he beat me up halfway through the podcast. <laughs> we, should, we can just like hit the mics because something like chaos is happening in here. You don't know we're just sitting here. Breaks his well, mic. <laughs> I should talk about that though. For uh, hopefully episode 11 or 12, we'll have like an actual setup with cameras, lights, what episode action. Are you on? Nine? Ten. Ten? Ooh. Ooh. Ten. So like when I come back, my main plan is going to be to try to organize the podcast room, get a table set up, which That's is probably going to be... Trip Wait. to Ikea. Yeah, we going to yeah, Ikea? Ikea? What? <laughs> Let's I- go! I'm going to get one of these slabs of wood that I use for my desk yeah. setups and then uh, when are we trestles going? when I get back. All right, cool. We'll need a big Are vehicle. you taking the white Tesla? Well, if we, no, we can get a ship to here, but if we need, we I can get a truck. Where's don't the worry. closest? Yeah, I, I get guess a that's truck. a stupid question to don't ask. Worry. You know, though. I was gonna say, where's the closest IKEA? Probably Burlington, Burlington or yeah. downtown Toronto. Tucker's they're baby. Like, they're always oh, kind of equally. That, if I hopefully have a job by then. Yeah, you won't. Not yeah, no. <laughs> it's, that's two weeks. No, not even. It's like a week and a half. Yeah. A lot can change in a week and a half. You, you, maybe true that, maybe true I'll that. Just you. If you just lift all the stuff by yourself, I'm sure. I love IKEA, man. It's like one of my favorite places to go. Man, you should come. We'll make a vlog of it. Love it. Me and my roommate went to Ikea twice just because, well, the first time I got all the shit I needed. The second time I was like, you know, I would have rather had black table legs as opposed to like gray Racist. ones. So I was like, what'd you say? Racist. No. Okay. Fair. I also thought you said Marxist and I was like, I don't even know what that means. <laughs> Marxism? No, Ikea is sick. I, I've been many times just to walk through. Oh, yeah. Like, I love when you walk through like, all this setup log. stuff and you're like, man, I wish One my day. house looked like yeah. this. Yeah. And then it's like. I still can't believe that we went to Ikea just to record a vlog. Just because I got my car. <laughs> yep. <laughs> you guys were just driving with? home. Like, where the fuck should we go? Ikea? Well, it's because we went to Ikea the like the year prior. And then we passed by like an electric vehicle parking spot. No. And I was just, no. Tell no, them no, the no. real story. No, that, that was the first time. <laughs> the first time we went, uh, we passed by electric vehicle parking spot. And then when we were leaving and Drew couldn't carry the box, I was just like, oh, if I had my Tesla, <laughs> like you, we would have been able to park there and you would have had to walk like five feet. Uh, that was still one of so, the funniest things ever. Okay, and then the next the year, part. the next year we went again and then I was pulling in and I was like, look at all these fuckers taking the electric vehicle parking spots. They're all like driving minivans and yeah. then we pull up and it's a handicap parking <laughs> spot. <laughs> I was like, oh, fuck. oh no. He was getting mad at the handy vans for taking his electric vehicle spot. <laughs> and the, yeah. the title... Entitled I know, Jeez. rich people, am I right? Yeah, I forgot about like us carrying the same box. Yeah, and Drew's, Drew's like crying. crying. <laughs> like, man, yours was yours was heavier. <laughs> no, they were literally the same. No, thing. no, I think Shane's well, is like a half literally kilogram heavier. heavier. <laughs> and Drew could not get like he's like, please stop. <laughs> no, man, good. you had the leverage. It's like when you're someone you're carrying like a box and someone's walking backwards, someone's walking forwards. The person walking forwards can just rush the person walking backwards. <laughs> and almost and you're going down a set of stairs. <laughs> yeah. It's great. I'm excited to see if we go again. If you guys can carry it because of your grip strength. Yeah, let's just not go now. climbing the day before. I can do it. With and I'm climbing. Well, you're so fine anyways, yeah. I'll just grab it like this so and like puncture speak. holes in my hands and just lift it. What days? Hmm? Well, I already went Sunday and then we went Monday. And Wednesday, and then Friday. Wednesday, Friday. And then Bree wants to go on the weekend. Oh, invite me. Wow. Five times. Invite me. Oh, wait. Five. Oh, like last weekend. Wait, so do no, you pay, a, do you yeah, pay every time you go or is it a membership? No, we have membership. We have a membership. Yeah. So then like, do you guys like, would you say like, oh, let's go to climb. It's the same as me going to the gym type thing yeah, yeah for 100%. sure because we go three times monday what, what? wednesday friday guaranteed uh-huh. and then other days i think i'm gonna start going once on the weekend too yeah and it's insane grip strength man yeah. like you need to do it, it. it's pretty crazy because like the first few times we went we were 
dead. Like me and Annie, the first time we went, we were dead for it's three actually, days. So we never talked about that. We only did like V ones the first time we went. Yeah. Yeah, and then like now we can go. And I don't know about you guys. I don't really feel tired the next day at all. No, well, my you guys get, feel good. I, I'm starting to get surprised. Like me there though. What I've been like doing as the last bunch of times, like we leave and I probably could keep going, but I'm like, I, yeah, it's been weird. And like we're doing, we're up to like an V4, so we're mm-hmm. doing some hard. Like puzzles. we go for an hour and a half, two hours every time. Yeah, it's longer than I'm at the gym for sometimes. Again, I can't wait to show Rob some of the stupid shit we like. I just yeah. go through the three V4s. Good luck. I'll just like I'll try whatever. I'm not. Yeah, yeah. Like, I, I just probably won't be. It's able gonna to be do. fun. You're coming yeah. tomorrow. You won't be able to. Well, the thing is, like, I, I ah, stuff like that. Wait, coming. what? Tomorrow? Yeah, I could. I could go tomorrow. All right, well, nine o'clock. We're going to no tomorrow night sucks though. Wednesday nights blow. Oh. Or, tomorrow or, or, all this, or all this way for Christian. Wait, or, what are you doing? Oh yeah, yeah, true, true, true. yeah I could what do you do I, I want to I want to be there when Rob climbs. No, that's too bad. Nah, it's your bad. own fault. I've you been inviting me. him for months, and every sometimes like yeah, no, but Drew can't go. on the grind. Man, Drew has been. I've been yeah. texting this guy think, every every Monday when we get here. I think Drew's been on my ass more than you have about the. Well, yeah, because after I ask you for the fifteenth time and you say no, I start to give up. Yeah, that you don't take no for an answer. Drew's correct. Drew knows the code. You want to make it anywhere in life. You don't take no for an answer. Did you use your free thing on Bree? Yeah. I'll use it on you. So gotcha. <laughs> here's my question then, Drew. How come I've been hounding you for like the last three months that we haven't seen Brie at all and it still hasn't worked? I saw her. Shane saw her at the Leafs yeah, game. so I'm happy. I've been hounding, me and I was Annie still have longer. You just don't like sports. Hey, you, you've met you her, went though. rock climbing with her. Yeah, she didn't want it. She wanted to be her a bit of a slap to the face, but if I'm invited <laughs> on Saturday, it's water under the bridge. Yeah. There you go. Easy. Unbelievable. <laughs> you've met her though, right? Like twice. Yeah, Christian and he's been bought dating her, her for like five the first years. time they met. Bought her a drink. Woof. Yeah. Stepping on Drew's toes already. Dude. No, it's because we were we were trying Some to debate whether the, <laughs> we were trying to debate whether a couple on the other side of the room was a couple or they were just like friends. Or uh, like first date kind of thing. And Bree's like, I'll just go ask. And Christian's like, No, you won't. I'll buy you a drink if you go ask them. And she just bought and this I like I had known her for a year at this point <laughs> and I'd never seen her do anything like this. She just walks over and asks them. Was she like under the influence no. no she had had maybe a drink uh. <laughs> and then uh yeah they weren't on a date <laughs> it was very awkward i'm pretty sure the guy thought they were and the girl was like no that's the worst and part. christian bought her a drink everything worked out do you guys know my really good friend who i've been friends with forever first last name social insurance number uh j starts with the j sure yeah jacob okay yeah along the along that line the amount of times we've been out for dinner or something, people have been like, oh, like, you guys are such a cute couple. And I'm just sitting there like, just like being like, I'm working Wait, on it. You that pisses I'm you off? Not pisses me oh, off. Oh, true, true. Okay. Yeah. Girl. I thought you were I talking thought you about. said guy. <laughs> <laughs> you, no. No. You, oh. Oh, you guys are so oh. tall. <laughs> you said my, you said no. my friend. Buddy? My yeah. friend. You oh, said, I, I thought yeah. you said he must, buddy. I he might have like, said no. buddy. How do you know no, he said Drew buddy. said my buddy Jacob or something. Oh, like that. okay. That's okay. Uh, like, you know what I mean? No, I 100% I, I thought it was just a guy. I thought, oh. when you said Jay, I thought you said Jordan. No, <laughs> no, no. Like, oh, okay. Like her. Like her. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And like, we've like, Oh, it's just the worst ever, man. Like that feeling of just like them being like, you're such a cute couple. I'm just looking like her. I'm just like, we would, yeah, we would so be. We right. are. Yeah. <laughs> Rob's like, you fuck. She's like, oh, he's like a brother to me. And I'm just like, stepbrother. But, you know. Stepbrother. Step I want to relive my favorite videos. Yeah. <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> oh, no. Rob's just going to be silent for the next few minutes. Yeah. I'll be, needs I'll to step just, into I'll the back. in the corner, guys. Just don't mind me. He's putting his hand down his pants. I put, I put both hands down. <laughs> Rob, put your pants line. back on. What are no. you doing? <laughs> Rob, put your shirt on. I would take Shane, my shirt off. Shane, you too. This is just what Aww. guys do. They take off their clothes. <laughs> yeah. We're hanging out. I, I'm awesome. I would take my shirt off right now. It's hot enough in here to yeah. do so, yeah. Yeah, Christian is I'm cold right now. Yeah, I... You're wearing sweatpants. I know. I, I don't know. I am too, but... I don't know. Wh- socks. You're wearing socks, man. I'm cold. I'm, I'm sweating. Roasting. No. I'm roasting. I'm cold-blooded, as you corrected me. If you're I am too. Cold-blooded if you get hot easy, right? No. Yeah. Yes. I'm, I wasn't yes, even yes. joking. Like, that jacket, that sweater, that, that will be my winter jacket this year. Yeah. Like and Drew's got like this decked out like Parker baby. <laughs> yeah, Jesus. I want to get one of those because like the one I have right now is like a similar company, but it's a bomber jacket. It's real so, goose feathers. This yeah, motherfucker. Literally a too. worst thing for the environment. Canadian goose, cool. Other it's goose, certi- yeah. certified certified down though. They don't pluck it off live. Birds. Certified downs. What does that go. mean? It's like a legitimate. No, there's a legitimate um, <laughs> certification yeah, they have that companies can get, <laughs> where it's it's certified <laughs> whatever down. Rings behind them. Or certified responsible down. 
And it literally just means um, that they recycle the down when they can and they don't pluck it off live birds. All the birds are dead when they plug it. Um, but I mean... That, that doesn't really make it no, too much just better. No, you slaughter it at one years old. Like, oh, it's dead. Pluck, pluck, pluck. But eh, pretty it's better than nothing. Mm-hmm. I'm trying to think of a segue from this morbid conversation. Oh, I know since Rob loves morbid things and we were talking about club seals in the first episode or mm-hmm, whatever. Mm-hmm. If you look up photos of like the geese or whatever no. after they pluck the feathers, it's awful. I'm honestly like we're plucking geese tonight. So <laughs> yeah, we're, yeah we're, we're going we're crocodile hunting and geese plucking. Nah, we'll, we'll go geese plucking first because that's an easier start True. off. Start off a small game, and then we'll, go, some, then we'll go uh, kill a. Polar by the way, bear. Yeah, it, for people who don't know, me and Drew have gotten into hunting in the <laughs> yeah, area. with their bare yeah. hands. So like six a.m. we wake up, or five a.m. we Man. wake up, get in the truck, cover ourselves in and camouflage I, paint. I do have a high vis camo maple leaf sweater. Of course he does. Wait, don't you want a camo sweater to be low vis? <laughs> no, you want it to be well. Yeah. <laughs> no, it's, like, it's like glow in the dark. <laughs> so like, Jews, probably like a navy, a navy seal team doing like a, a secret mission. It's just bright orange. You want them? You the want guys the, like this can't be real, right? There's like guys creeping up to our building right there. You literally the would never expect that. They'd be like, this can't happen. It must be one of our guys. Let him in. <laughs> He's glowing. <laughs> you want the high vis for other hunters. <laughs> It's like if you're oh, maybe if you're really in the middle of nowhere and you're going hunting, like sure you can camo out and you're in a swamp. But why is another hunter gonna shoot you? Like, is that so, a gator? Is that a gator? <laughs> <laughs> oh look, no! Is that I a can, moose? I hear turkey calls. Drew <laughs> farts underwater. It's like bang. <laughs> oh shit! Uh, anyway, high, yeah, get a high vis yeah, camo. High vis, so we could shop other humans. Yeah. I was going to say, I'm getting some serious uh, FOMO from you guys playing Red Dead without me. You should. You're going to play tonight. You already yeah. said so. You and have I, it downloaded. Yeah, I just have to create thumbnails. Render I'm shit. not going to bed early, so you're not going to bed early. So Unfortunate. Also true. <laughs> <laughs> Aren't you supposed to be studying? And also, don't you work tomorrow? I studied today. Yeah, you'll work tomorrow. But Yeah, I'll work tomorrow. We'll, we'll climb. He'll study again. We'll play. Should we be assholes Easy and take bad. bets on whether Drew passes his test or not? No. No. I mean, because he's going to pass. That's I have too no much pressure. To pay some bet. Oh, he's going to pass. $5. A dollar. What's the test You're for? You already owe me 15 Man, if I lose, the last thing I'm doing is paying someone other than the CFA. <laughs> yeah. No, oh, it's, it's, to be your, it's your CFA test? Yeah. He's passing. Yeah, you Hopefully. will. We got this. You made it this far. Yeah, we got You're this. You're a smart financial mind in there. I'm a smart young lass. Lad. Smart young buck. <laughs> young buck <laughs> young blood young blood what we'll call him what <laughs> well you have you know, that. like the song oh is that rap <laughs> yeah we'll go with that yeah sure Lil man. Uzi Yachty hey, yeah, Lil hey Uzi Bert, my favorite uh, uh. Uh, they're a guy or a girl skirt skirt yes a being yes. you never being. know these days it could be either <laughs> both they are a they yeah with that <laughs> We're going to get into some very uh, <laughs> borderline topics here. <laughs> so how about the weather? <laughs> Wait, so we, do you guys Go with the farmer's almanac? Do you guys just reference Hannah for everything that's a like borderline touch? Yes. Yes. Okay. I normally say Monka Tios, but now I say Hannah a lot. Monka, <laughs> Monka, Hannah. Monka Hannah. Which that's I guess a, a lot of people probably don't know who Hannah is. Yeah, you guys probably... You, you yeah, should, true. Nobody knows you guys who Hannah say, is. Just in, for, for context. She should be a guest on a podcast if any of us can ever make it. We should, should debate yeah. one of us on something that, that would piss both both parties off. Because like, they just have such opposite viewpoints. Game of they, Thrones ending. Why? Did she like it? No. So no. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. What's something that would really get her ticked? Everything. Horses. We already went through this. This is oh, literally right. a conversation yeah, 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 last yeah, yeah, podcast. Yeah. And you're like, I don't trust horses. Like, what the fuck? Oh, right. Horses. It's over. I guess you could say horses are just feral beasts. So. <laughs> <laughs> that would just like kill kill a person if they had the chance. Your teeth but. are razor sharp. The yeah. st- the part of the story that Rob forgot to mention in the last podcast is that the horse was rabid. Yeah, man, imagine a Foaming carnivorous I, I horse. I witnessed though. it kill another human being. That would be nuts. What were you what? saying? Like a carnivorous horse, dude. They would wipe out the human population. That would be. What are we going to stop them? No, no. If horses, they, if horses man, want to kill us, they could wheat. for sure. How do horses get that big? If they're herbivores. They're, no, no, no. <laughs> Their teeth are literally like flat How squares, so they structure. can like yeah. muddle the wheat. Like they don't actually chew; they just muddle the wheat. No. Like, that's why their jaw goes like muddle. <laughs> Didn't know that was a word. Dude, animals yeah, are usually fucked. like muddle. Animals stuff are pretty cocktails. fucked, dude. Like some of like the like, like in a mortar. Have you have you just straightened a thought about chameleons? 
Or like yeah, they're how nuts. they work. They can just shape how they work. No, they can change colors. <laughs> I, <laughs> fucked they, with my head. They man. snuck at a very fifty one. Yeah. yeah, they must. That's have. How, that's how the stealth bombers. That's where they got the tech from. That's mm-hmm. what's in area fifty one. You know what weirds me out is cows because they have what three or four mm-hmm. stomachs. Yeah, really. And also and they, they fuck over and, the and environment. And worms have like ten hearts. Yeah, that too. That's why you can cut them up and they can live. Yeah, but yeah. the the thing I find weird about tr- or cows as well is that they can like basically puke up their food and then they chew it and then it goes back down yeah, that's, for later. that's why they're always like chewing <laughs> that's what i do <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. you don't do that that's what yeah. shane does when we go to korean barbecue and he orders yeah. 15 plates for himself exactly hey, that's how i get it oh man. knock knock come in right. <laughs> who's, the, who, who's, <laughs> who's there drew interrupting cow Interrupting. Cow. Oh no! Oh wow! Oh, that reminds okay. me of an awesome joke I heard the other day. Oh, no. Let's hear it. So it's Halloween night at the at the local bar, right? Everyone's mm-hmm. coming in wearing their costumes. A guy comes in wrapped in nothing but saran wrap. The bartender says, "Hey, I can clearly see that that guy is nuts. Get it? Or that guy's nuts? Get it?" <laughs> hey Rob, so a seal walks into a club. What happened next? <laughs> Did you get it? Yeah, I got it. He was wrapped in saran wrap. So you he slightly could see his messed junk. up the delivery. Yeah. I know. I shouldn't have said. I this guy have said is the extra nuts. Word. <laughs> For a second, this guy is like, nuts. What did yeah. you wear? What was your content? I realized it was a joke. Uh, <laughs> Rob's been sending too many professional emails. He yeah, took out the apostrophe. I'm used to those extra contractions in there, man. I've probably sent like 100 emails to people over the last like two weeks. Unlucky. That's Sucks it. ass. I've sent three. Those are baby numbers. I wish, really. Man. No. <laughs> I was going to say, I think I send maybe like five a week max. I just send, send so many others like one way, me just like the Google, mm-hmm. the Gmail conversation is just me, 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 me. <laughs> oh, just, no. just no answer uh, back. I'm just like, yeah. after, so you, after two, you stop. Well, yeah. Well, That's maybe. not like the only place I've sent multiple is the government. But they've gotten back to me. So that breaks the chain up nicely, Seriously. you know? Yeah. Man, all you have to do is talk if you want to like get, get to them. You know, They're I, listening to everything. Well, I told him that uh, the best way for him to get the job, because he said he's been taking forever for them to get back to him, yeah. is to just, whenever they respond to him, he has to take twice as long to respond, and, and then they'll, they'll hire like, him on the spot. Th- this guy knows how the government works. We're going to hire him. Yeah, true. Reverse psychology. <laughs> and, then, and then send them a bill for your time. Yeah, literally. And then we'll be like, hey, by the way, you know that new license you requested? Last week, we'll give it to you next year. Yeah, reverse tax them. Yeah, I'll be. I'm taxing you for your time. Actually, <laughs> I saw. Like, okay, this guy gets it. That reminds me of another thing I saw on Twitter the other day. Did you know that when a government, like, say you're at like a grocery store, and they want you to check out of like, and they say, hey, do you want to donate two dollars to charity or something, right? Yeah. Oh yeah. They that. subsidize their own income with that, so that way they don't have to donate their own money. Mm-hmm. Wait, so what no, assholes, man? Because you already so you, have enough money to donate you donate- to charity. Two dollars, but it doesn't go to the charity. It goes to the company, and then the company donates it on your behalf. And so but then they, they get a huge tax break. Yeah, that makes sense. Saves the yeah. money on. Like it's scummy. That's but... like all the like like Loblaws has like the PC one. Yeah, like it's just their charity. Just to there's save a reason money. for it. Yeah. <laughs> but I mean, at the end of the day, they're still giving to a charity. Correct. Yeah. yeah at but... the end, like the good thing is, is like they're not taking a cut. Like they cover all the expenses. I'd rather That's just give it thing. straight to it's them, like, but you still can't really get that mad. Like, sure, it's shitty, but at the end of the day, a charity is still getting money. It, it, mm-hmm. For me, it depends on what charity it is. Because sure. if it's something like the C- Susan G. Komen, well, yeah, but then you just thing, say no. It's fucking bullshit. Then What's you just that? say no. The Susan G. Komen's like the breast cancer awareness. It's like the pink ribbon. Yeah, they only like. All of the money that they raise, I think it's like 5% actually goes to 5%? breast cancer. Yeah, That's crazy. Fucked up. The rest is all like administrations marketing. and the rest is all marketing. And also a lot of lawyers because they will sue anyone who uses that pink color. Well, it's huge. Well, Even the, the NFL has mm-hmm. everything is pink for the entire month of yeah, October. But all that money goes to that foundation, which doesn't do anything. That's for breast billions cancer. of dollars, man. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Well, they're, they, the way they cl- or save themselves, I guess, is they say they're an awareness foundation so they don't talk about an ar- yeah, or try to find a cure all you hear is breast like cancer awareness they're not any of that they yeah they're still non-profit yeah probably. they are, are they? Mm-hmm. yeah but you still pay all your employees see whoever found it probably still bringing like two mil oh mm-hmm. i think it's more than that people were talking about it with i'm pretty sure the ceo makes millions and millions of dollars a year which is jokes i should start i should start a charity if you yeah. want to be scummy like that yeah, look at this guy. Um, <laughs> I, have, I have a pretty strong moral structure, but I can. Hey, man, bend if some you rules. give away more than five percent of the stuff to the actual charity, you're already got to like ahead on yeah. the competition. I'll give away five point zero one and say I'm better than the other ones. <laughs> yeah, there you go. You, you're Strats. you're great at business now. I'm pretty Fire. sure like the best charities in the world usually do like 
90 percent is given to actual well, the, the bill gates one's pretty good from what i've seen well, that one's just like funded by bill gates how's yeah. rob gonna drive his ferrari if he's giving away 80 percent? yeah dude come on is that your dream car no okay my dream car is probably a dodge challenger mm-hmm. soup to the max like or demon yeah, yeah. or a uh a ford <laughs> raptor <laughs> Or like an old mm. Viper. A nice yeah, Raptor. Yeah, or an old, sick. something like old and mean looking. It's Viper ACR. Oof. Yeah. yeah. Or like one of those like old Plymouths with the massive wings. Yeah, that back. has the giant like chrome like ducktail thing. It's, it's amazing. Oh, mm. sexy. It's like, Last I car have I my ever... dream car. <laughs> <laughs> Christian, what's your dream car, man? <laughs> Christian, say, getting... say it for us oh, all to hear. Yeah, let's yeah, show. You're going to get Tesla Model S. Oh, oh wow. gosh. Wow. Big surprise. This guy's getting an X and a Roadster. I'm not getting a roadster, but so do you have a plan to get your favorite car? Or do you but already I'm have getting it? my no, like an S, the S is my dream car. Well, you already have, yeah, yeah. I like the only difference I would the... make is that I would, <laughs> if I could, I'd get the upgraded version, like the P100D instead of my 75. But oh, it does, the, like it's rough, not a rough life. life the bro. three dual motor is his uh, winter beater. Winter beater, yeah. He whips like a fucking i8 for his winter yeah. car. <laughs> Say like, fuck the stupid thing. I don't care what happens to it. Uh, I mean. If my Corolla gives I'm, out, I'm screwed, man. If I could go, it's over. <laughs> <laughs> I could probably weasel a new, like maybe. You know what would have been really good it. if that Corolla started having issues. You know, would have been crazy actually. It's working at like a car place. Oh uh, yeah, could have really helped. <laughs> only, only, <laughs> only doing tires and being bitched at by a grump, bunch yeah. of grumpy old dudes. So I definitely thought you were gonna swing that on me because you were just staring yeah, at me. Yeah, me too. <laughs> I thought you were gonna say, "Give me a test." Or something. Uh, I was no. like, Rob's like, yeah, yeah, yeah I'm yeah. waiting. Oh, fuck. And then Shane's like, "You should, you quit your job, <laughs> asshole." Like that dog <laughs> video when the guy is talking about bacon and he's like voicing over his dog. Those are yeah. Bacon? <laughs> <laughs> that would be pretty funny but. yeah i keep getting ads for the place that you worked at for like a week now. me too man it's really pissing <laughs> me off it in Rob's guy, come on. yeah it's just like i think it's because i was on like their website and everything so much just twitter and like google's like what change your winter tires do this do that <laughs> and it's just like fuck me i get it i like i was a coward <laughs> but at least you admit it i'm proud of you i love it I just, I just don't want to hate my life. It's simple as that. True. You already hate your life now. What's the difference? Oh, I don't, yeah. want to, don't want to hate it more than I already uh, hated it. Is it po- you're, you're at like the lowest of the low though. I'm actually, this is probably like, oh, he's, he's happy. <laughs> I was like, I'm happy like, I'm, like, I'm, yeah. like, I'm happy, but like in terms of like where I'm at, this is like probably the lowest. But this is the lowest <laughs> you'll ever be. Yeah, I love that's true. When Rob got here, he, uh, the first thing he's like, oh, I got a scratch <laughs> ticket today at $12. I immediately cashed it in. I bought a sub with it. <laughs> 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 I was like, hey oh, man, no, at bro. least you bought food this time and yeah. not not like a protein sample. Or hey, like that a, is food. That's fuel. True, fuel my bad. My, I'm sorry. Body. Oh, um, at least get weight gainer. I want to throw mm-hmm. in. Yesterday when we went rock climbing, I was starving, so I had to resort to getting a like granola bar from the vending machine, and it was one of the Cliff bars. Most disgusting thing what, I've ever. What eaten. kind was it? Was it Cliff Builders or was it a Cliff bar? I don't fucking know. Was it was it a rectangle small or was, or it, was like it like a, it was a flat? long rectangle so it was a builder's bar yeah, then. Builder. what flavor was it it was a uh, chocolate and like vanilla brownie, brownie fudge or something i don't know all of those things do like they, they taste the kind of take like yeah. ch- chalky almost <laughs> could have been the gym but no i'm kidding but you know what i mean i think did they, they kind of like, uh, just taste like stale rice crispy squares yeah mm-hmm. uh, that's so accurate to be honest but mm-hmm. yeah i don't know and it was like a brick it was solid none of them really taste good it's just like getting healthy stuff yeah. in you I just it's don't just know like they take nutrients and you just feel like better? packed it down with no. a hydraulic press. Yeah. <laughs> oh, I was a little bit less shaky because I finally had food in me, but yeah. I was still... This guy was hurt. on the wall just like having a seizure. Like, <laughs> yeah. yeah. He's he's probably did, like, again, not good... food during the day and you well, try and go out and do rock climbing. That's probably why. I mean, keep in mind, I had dinner and then we had to do the podcast and then we immediately went rock climbing. I have no time to... Yeah, uh, no, that's true. Yeah, yeah, it's actually... We're kind of... Like if you don't eat before, you're fucked. Yeah. And like, I ate like two hours before the podcast. How many meals... Like say you have nothing going on in the day. Two. You have two meals a day, breakfast and some at like what four or five? Yeah, and four then sometimes me and Annie about. will go to McDonald's at midnight. God, oh, what a living awful. the dream. It gives me anxiety <laughs> just thinking about that. Mine's literally, literally three a day now, yeah. minimum, yeah. and then oh. snacks in between. Oh, breakfast, snacks. lunch, dinner, hummus late and night freaking snack. hummus and chips has been my thing. Oh, like, for sure. I snack on it when I get home every single day. Pitas and hummus. I, we definitely need more snacks in our apartment. We yeah, just, you definitely do for meals. Yeah. 
Yeah. yeah. Healthy uh, snacks. They had all dressed <laughs> chips this <laughs> time. No, no and, trust uh, me. You need plenty more <laughs> snacks, man. <laughs> Drew walks in. Where's the chips? <laughs> there, man, has, there has been chips and stuff. If, if you're leaving an open bag of all dressed chips on the counter and I'm coming over, like, it's your fault. <laughs> well, it's like, what kind of sick person is a bag of open chips? It's, oh, Bobby, you can't have any of those. Yeah. It, what? <laughs> <laughs> it's fair game in my well, books. I felt bad because yesterday we ate the uh, the plain chips and Annie bought those for herself. Well, I and don't the know all why she ones the were for me. Open. And then we just ate. Them. You shouldn't you shouldn't leave the chips out though if you don't want them to be eaten. Yeah, yeah, hide them. We had a rule in my student house: if anything's like there, the, like overnight and the next morning, if anyone can have it. Man, Jeez. if you have a full bag of all dressed and a half empty bag of regular sitting there, and you don't want me to eat the regular. Just open the all dress. I'm too nice to do it myself, and I will 100% go for those over regular. <laughs> There's something about being at a friend's house, and they, then oh, just open it up. And you're just sitting there. It's like, I, I don't want to open yeah, it. I don't like, want to break the steel. Though. My main concern was that I didn't want to have like two open bags of chips, and then I'm leaving, and then Annie, I, I don't, don't want to like force her. Annie will have any issue. See, chips but are awesome, the bro. regular got eaten, and the all dressed are open today, so you may as well just open them yesterday. Well, I didn't expect you guys to eat so many. Is well, that's, the thing. that's my point. That's just your fault. <laughs> <laughs> that's what we're getting at. <laughs> Should have anticipated it. Okay. Yeah. Well, I think that's a good point to end it on. <laughs> my fault. Um, what else is new? <laughs> fuck you. <laughs> but yeah, this podcast will be going live on the 11th. 11th? And then we'll be back with the live streams and more podcasts and hopefully video podcasts after that. Won't people like be all the way through the podcast now and be like, well, yeah, it's the 11th. We get it. <laughs> yeah. like, who are we telling this? I guess. <laughs> like, wait, wait, wait a second. I'm telling no, myself. Okay. Just wait, <laughs> mental <laughs> notes. Am I pro universe Do you ever watch them? <laughs> second. Do you ever watch the vloggers where we'll be like, blah, blah, blah. Well, actually, it's uh, tonight for you. Yeah. Yeah. yeah we're just, <laughs> we're, we're assimilating. Man. I definitely say that in videos. Sometimes. Yeah. Oh, God. <laughs> Cool, because well, I'll be talking out loud and trying to be like, okay, this video is going up on Sunday. Oh wait, but like it's already Sunday for you guys, so yeah. There you go. Okay, see ya. <laughs> yeah, yeah, whatever. They get it. Whatever. Yeah. Okay. Well, smart viewers. Uh, Some of them. Uh, okay. Five percent. Bye, guys. Bye. Peace out, Girl Scouts.